Okay. Whee! So let's start with the Long Rosman Police Department. Oh boy. So it's two of you, Gabriel uh, and Velvet, with your flaming Theodore. <laughs> Not as flaming as before, yeah, but yeah, yeah, like yeah. little bits of you know, fire he... and so on. Didn't, like, if we were leaving already, then he would have stopped her up and rolled. Okay, yeah, you told him that. Yeah. yeah. So he's a little, there's a little bit of smoke coming yeah, yeah, off yeah. of his parts, and he's a little singed here and there. So the, a lot of you are coming down the concrete steps towards the street where still there are sort of the rushing of um, you know, groups of people trying to make their way out of the city. You know, a cart wheeling by at, at top speed. Um, general sort of mayhem and confusion. But cutting through that, you hear this crashing noise coming from behind you inside the LMPD lobby. I look back, look at you, look back. Just go, God damn it. <laughs> that killed him. Then <laughs> I, <laughs> I attempt to run back in. Okay, so yeah. you rush back in. Luckily, the, um, the fire inside the lobby, though... Though it has spread and it's considerably still ablaze, you've still got a a visibility path. and a decent path there that you can make it to the to the elevator relatively um, unharmed. It'll be uncomfortable, but so you rush your way through there, and you see that sure enough, there is a pile of twisted iron and rubble at the base uh, of the the elevator <coughs> shaft, um, and uh, you see that. Uh, Sticking out of the rubble is a tuft of gray fur that you recognize as being uh, Kyoko's. Speaking of which, um, <laughs> roll me a death save. <laughs> All right. Death save. So, from my records, I do have one failed death save already. Yes, that's true. Ooh. So we will see how this goes. I'll roll this out in the open. As you do. It's what, a 16 Wait, or an 18? Good. It's an 18. Good 18. 18. Very good. One good so far. So one to one. So you see this this pile of, of concrete and iron still blazing and a tuft of fur sticking out. So are the is the elevator shaft open or like the doors open or probably busted open? The shaft itself doesn't the opening to the shaft on the ground floor mm-hmm. doesn't really have a door per se because the carriage itself has a sort of <clears throat> oh, like a sliding okay, okay. iron sort of cage kind of door. So in the style of the old elevator. What do we see? Is it open, closed? Where Where is the fur coming out? The fur is coming out of this, like, basically this pile of rubble that's at the bottom of this shaft, mm-hmm. like, just right in front of you through this right. this opening. All right, have I used all my actions to get there? No. All right. I'm going to attempt to drag her out with the fur. <laughs> Yeah, that's not gonna work. You're gonna you're gonna miss yeah. it. <laughs> no, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask Theodore to. Uh, I mean, you, yeah, you give me a, give me an athletics check. Ho- hope your hair follicles take are care of the strong. rocks, like from I don't the, know, with this top, temperature. Oh, you can try to ones. pull them out. Yeah. No, no, I'm asking Theodore because he, I'm not that strong. <laughs> Two. Okay, so you reach for the fur and end up grazing one of the pieces of concrete nearby, and uh, it is like uh, it is super hot. Uh, you take Super three fire damage. Mm. Super. Thank you. It's, it's a great game. Mm-hmm. Um, as you sort of recoil, as your hand comes back, you can f- smell the singeing of animal hair. Okay, that wasn't the best idea. <laughs> your turn. <laughs> really? Theodore. Huh. Theodore needs to make an athletics check, but he can sure. do so with advantage because he doesn't feel pain. Can I? Okay. <laughs> That's... That sounds... Well, that sounds like another conversation we need to have later. A uh, 19. Ooh. I mean, he feels emotional. Well, that's uh, existential actually, pain. Oh, not physical pain. 24. 24. So you can just turn that off. You turn, uh, turn you, off the senses. You know, turn Theodore towards me. <laughs> begin sort of dismantling this pile of rubble uh, methodically. And slowly and surely you see as you uh, are picking away at the concrete and the wrought iron, uh, you find the um, the battered, um, singed body of Kyoko inside. <laughs> Twisty. Um, <laughs> does she look alive? Uh, from from where you are right now, looking at there's, you can't tell. Uh, blood burns. Now if you manage to say, so I get saw, the body out, I saw, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I saw uh, Velvet burn herself on the rocks. Uh, Theodore doesn't care, but like, is this body... Is it like, um, 
I wouldn't say hard boiled, but is it like <laughs> raw to medium? Like, is it <laughs> smoking? medium well? Yeah, medium well. Like, is it like burning? Hot? No. Here's an, here's an easy question for you. How much of the fur is still on? The yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good question. Yeah. I would say we're talking about. Like, is it just hot, like oven? Or? Most of the damage it looks like was from the collapse of the carriage itself. Okay. With some burn damage, like first degree burns we're mm-hmm. talking about here. You know, in a kind of a patchwork right. kind of fashion. Uh, then I'm gonna gently step on the you know closest rocks not to stumble, and uh, I put my hand on her head, mm-hmm. and I will cast cure wounds. Okay. On her, and uh, you can take. Um, I'm surprised you got through that last fight without using all your spells. I have one left. Nice. I had that one this is left. For you, buddy. I am surprised. <laughs> you can take eleven hit points. Hey, I'm up to four. Yeah. Uh, you're up to full? Yeah, because I haven't leveled oh, up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Right. And uh, when you open your eyes, the first thing I just like looking straight up at you, I'm gonna say, uh, So, what did we learn today? <laughs> <laughs> that the two of you will walk away from people in need. Now, let's go. Mm, nice. All right. Uh, Touche. <laughs> On the other hand, taking that elevator in a burning building does not help. You look for a ladder. I did. That no, you didn't. Not. You ran into the elevator. I, I was there. I, I was right next check. to you. We were yeah. dancing. As, as the lobby is burning around us. Yes, they're doing that. Check I'm just the footage. walking away. I did a search and did ask if there was any other means to the higher floors. Now, we did metal. confirm that there weren't stairs. Yep. Theodore, let's go. <laughs> Look for a ladder outside, because that's where they usually are. Because it doesn't do any good inside. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you can Already go outside to get out. it when it's on the ground yeah. from inside on a higher floor. Yeah, that's... Well, security issues. <laughs> okay, so we're exiting the building. Oh, yeah. I'm probably so, over that. I'm, I'm probably a volunteer actually, firefighter. So I'm probably like my old... <laughs> Just standing outside. Hey, guys. <laughs> so, got, my, got my, like, fireman's axe ready. <laughs> Just... So the three of you, um, with Theodore, of course, mm-hmm. exiting the, the building with a, with a little bit of a jog, you mm-hmm. know, to, to get away from the, the flames inside. You know that given that the LMPD is a mostly, like, sort of brutalist-style concrete building, that's going to take a while to, like, properly burn down. Mm-hmm. It's jet fuel. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, even that, it's, br- it's going to take But most of the interior is going to be wrecked inside pretty job. quickly, yeah. you know, all it's this wood and, 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 and fabric and everything. They were it's inside good. the building when they yeah. were lighting it on fire, so mm-hmm. yes. <laughs> um, as you walk out in, into the street, um, you hear from above you what sounds like a sort of a, a kind of a thudding noise. He's drumming trying to get out. He's I mean, if it I'm is, I'm not there. I'm not there. Shut up, Trey. From second story, it's, it's coming from behind you. It seems to be coming from the building. It's like a heavy, sort of a dense rattling noise. I will roll my eyes, look at Kyoko, and say, uh, "Try the elevator." I already tried that. <laughs> How did it I'll work? Turn up and look at it. You yeah, see that uh, there is a. You see that there is a, uh, a, is second, a, a second floor window that mm-hmm. is still intact. And uh, hammering at that window is what looks like uh, a human figure, covered in soot, it looks like, and, and singed a little bit, trying to, what looks like, just break this pane of glass open, which is pretty, which is pretty heavy duty. It's difficult to tell from this distance. You're looking up at the second floor. Mm-hmm. There's smoke and fire. Everything. It's, it's difficult to tell who it is. Uh, just before you, mm. before we act, rack the shotgun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Before <laughs> before Slide a slug in yep, there. And let me just see. No, it's going to happen, right? Do you Spin remember? it out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the 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 oxygen when it meets fire, mm-hmm. which you are about to provide to this room. 
Just yeah. whoosh. Get ready to catch the guy. Okay, and I'll pull the yeah, trigger. yeah, yeah. I'll step okay. away. <laughs> uh, please roll. I'll step away. I will he take advantage for this. He's going to get a giant, giant flame flame I don't want to whiff and, like, shoot the guy in the face. <laughs> <laughs> the body I'll save back. you. <laughs> <laughs> you know that part in uh, Money by Them's Flying Circus where just, like, the stuffed body just... Whoop, 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 yeah, right. and well, run out of the First two go inside yeah. because... Oh, boy. They're full. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very good. We'll 15 and a 16. Like... So 16, 5, 21. Very Pro- good. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you rack the shotgun, mm-hmm. aim for a corner. Doing a sort of long range shotgun blast into a window on the second floor. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, using a slug, so it's just a single Okay, cartridge. all right. Yeah. I was about to say, like, not, not I, hope one of, I hope one of the shot, the, <laughs> the pellets hits the. Yeah. So you fire, um, and you see that that figure who's been pounding, he sees you. You know, aiming the gun, and it immediately sort of drops to presumably the floor of the room. Smart man. <laughs> and then there's a, this sort of, almost like a backdraft kind mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. explosion. Um, and you see that uh, flames are beginning to lick out, smoke is pouring out. And you see, um, very quickly, uh, shooting out of the now broken window is what looks like a... is what looks like a the remains of a full-length mirror around which uh, a, a rope has been sort of double-knotted and drawn tight. It soars out, cl- clatters to the ground, and is basically it shatters what were remains of the, the glass, hits the, the ground, um, and you hear a voice cry from the window, Keep your weight on it! Grab a hold of it. Yeah, I will too. Then you see, uh, over the next couple of seconds in a chaotic fashion, <laughs> rappelling down the rope, down the side of the LMPD, is a very singed, very bruised, bloodied city uh, Marshal Ersatz, who has on one shoulder a wriggling uh, figure inside what looks like a burlap bag. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> who is, like, with, with one hand sort of rappelling down uh, through the, through the rope, he, oh, oh, yeah. he hits he hits the ground. Uh, uh, new you know, respect for martial arts now. Mm-hmm. He hits the ground, literally just chucks the <laughs> the burlap sack on, on, onto onto the street, and then you see him get back on the rope and begin rappelling back up. I'll follow after. Okay, so the two of you, uh, we'll make make a climb check here because these are stressful circumstances. A rope. A rope. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'll just like staying and observing. <laughs> I like climb up this. too. Did you yes. light the cigarette? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <It's> just like <laughs> off. <laughs> or, or, Is it a or, cigarette or a cigarello? <laughs> no, it's a cigarette. It's, it has fancy to be. The long one. Yes, yes. So yes, I got yes. eleven. Yep. Okay, you're gonna climb too. Yeah. Okay. Only a five. Or did you? Uh, up with your I'm not a strong man. person. It's, it's, okay. So no, 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 no. the two of you, um, is not fire, um, no. due to your no, sort of no. wounds from the previous battle and just sort of the exhaustion that you're feeling, you're yeah. not able to get a whole lot of purchase the tuxedo back. up that um, that rope. Airsat is taking it pretty much in stride um, because. Um, as you as you recall from your first meeting, uh, he's pretty much sort of like an upper body guy, mm-hmm. yeah. and that's all the climbing is. <laughs> so he me. is, you know, handfuls at a time going up. You see, yeah, there's no get, such thing as leg day. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you see him flop back into what is presumably his office now that you've seen him and given the layout of of the building. And there are a few tense seconds where you don't see him, you don't hear him. The, the, the fire continues to burn. And then you hear what sounds like a distant... (laughs) You then hear uh, uh, another... uh, You hear Airsatz's voice calling out to you from the window. Catch! (laughs) And you see... You see a body... Defenestrated. (laughs) Chucked out of the window towards the three of you. Ah, Theodore, catch. The Theodore, ready to catch. Ready to catch. Ready to catch. And you see Theodore catch um, what looks like the uh, the uh, the battered body of a dragonborn. Okay. Hey. Uh, you see that Theodore just sort of catches system. this body Still and then sort of glasses. stands there. No. Um, left, left of him. And with that, you see Arasats again very quickly, sort of rappel down the side of the building, 
and uh, grab the burlap sack. And he turns to the lot of you, and for the first time you see that he's like, he's seriously injured. It looks like he has taken um, some uh, severe sort of battle wounds in addition to sort of inhaling Trimble. a lot of smoke. Mm-hmm. And he is, and he is currently ragged, and uh, he uh, he looks at the the lot of you. Make sure that uh, mm-hmm. this dragonborn companion there, who looks to you even under the soot like uh, Aaron from the yeah. um, mm-hmm. requisitions mm-hmm. department, um, make sure that she's good in Theodore's arms, and then looks at you. <sighs> and what did we learn today? <laughs> Stairs. <laughs> The place is. Uh, the place is done. You've got to get out of here. Most of the staff has killed as intruders. We have to get out of the city. All right. Out of the city? We can secure means to get out. You do that. I need to attend to Aaron here. You have your, uh, your metal man, please put him down. Box over there, and he begins. Uh, I mean, checking the lower <laughs> <sort of. laughs> Gently, gently. <laughs> just like not him, <laughs> not that wording. And so, Mark Marshall Airsets is now attending to Aaron, uh, making sure that she's she's good to go. Uh, again, just sort of tossing the burlap sack over next to him, which you can see is still wriggling and making a sort of, <laughs> sort of uh, uh, anguished noise. The sack acts as a filter. Yeah, for the, the smoke. Burlap's a great fine. filter. Yeah. <laughs> so, what are the three of you doing? It's stuff for You said you're going to secure it's means of transport. Yep. Uh, should we really be leaving the city? I mean, it sounds like we're it's we for safety. Help. Who needs help? The city. <laughs> we can help with that, but there are people who do need to get out. If the police force happens to be one of those, then out they go. That's not really how I understand that kind of I say, <laughs> I say, do they, do they even Spurs? have like a pol- uh, fire department here? Like, like this is a big city, place. isn't it? Hmm. Just like out of curiosity. I imagine his resources are stretched pretty thin at this point. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> most fire like departments aren't 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 constituted to save the entire city yeah, from yeah, burning down. But still, they have they must have like a. A policy where, like, first you say the save the hospital, second you save you know government building or something. Like mm. they have like you may be expecting way more organization from a nineteenth century fire department. <laughs> yes, yeah. unfortunately, hmm. and unfortunately they could charge for their services. This is also true. That's true. This is a capitalistic hellscape. Welcome to it. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> so. Last time I remember, time we kind of like the, over the, the high well, purchase yes. somewhere, checked the neighborhood where my uh, workshop is, and it wasn't on fire, correct? Mm-hmm. Nice. If you want to head all the way over there, be my guest. But the, uh, the tavern, a little bit closer, might be able to rent that cardigan, help get any of the injured. Those How would you rent a cardigan if you just buy one? Did we? I mean, why would you need one in the middle of a fire? Help move people who aren't going to be able to move as well on their own. How would you? Would oh, you I see. A cart. Yeah. Cart. 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 Yeah. Right. Not a cardigan. Not a cardigan. Right. Oh, not a cardigan. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, not right now. I was confused. I, it took because... me a second, too. I was like, how is a cardigan going yeah. to help? And... <laughs> While we're cart talking about space. this, I'm using okay. a, um, <laughs> prestigitation to kill the fires on Theodore and Mandy sure. yeah. <laughs> to patch his tuxedo back. He looks uh, as good as new. One there is a, still a kind of a kind of a smoky yeah, sort of smell. Th- but so a uh, prestigitation whipped it off. Nice. Still and then the again. same on me. Huh? Uh, no, that is done. <laughs> it's important to look <laughs> yes. nice. You hear Airsaf <laughs> call back that. over his shoulder. To... <sighs> She's going to be fine provided we get her medical attention very quickly. Well, maybe we should be looking for medical personnel instead of, you know, carts. Mm. Yeah. Go ahead. If I have to organize everything, nothing's going to get done. That's go get actually, medical. You want to just take her... Go a... get medical. I will fine. go find a cart. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Okay. Uh, and as I walk away, I think he's really obsessed with these cards. <laughs> Excuse me. He just likes good mis- <laughs> well, <laughs> It's a she. Is it like... Oh, oh yeah. Sorry, is it, just, is it with, with foxes? I'm just like, just straight up to the moment. Is it like with cats, when you die once, you lose one life? Is it like... Does it work the same God, way with... <laughs> <laughs> now that is racist. <laughs> no, sorry. I didn't mean to. Yeah, she just like doesn't... <laughs> sound as perky as before, but, you know. So, um, you rush off to look for any kind of medical personnel. Mm-hmm. Uh, give me a perception check. Can I use pers- persuasion to try to ask around for it? <laughs> You'll be at a disadvantage because of the chaos and, and everything. Okay, I'll use perception. Can I just try to roll medicine check? I mean, I'm, I'm not a nurse. Not bad. Sure, oh, no, it, that is very bad. <laughs> I'm going to roll again. Okay. Can I make another roll? Oh, yes, yeah, much better. So that is a 15. A 15. Okay, so you run down a side street, uh, take a corner, and you see that among the... Um, a lot of people that are moving with their with their carriages and their carts and 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 uh, trying to do a what is obviously a unorganized evacuation. Um, you see that among the crowd is a young woman in what looks like a sort of a tall white cap and a, a, a white uh, dress uniform that looks like it has been sooted and, and torn slightly. The traditional sort of almost like a Civil War nurse's uniform. Um, and immediately you realize, okay, that's the person I might need. I, I immediately go over to her. She's a little surprised to see you sort of come at her. She's she uh, has got her what well, looks like a, a sort of a carpet bag in in, in one hand. Um, you so what do you what do you say? To her? What do you... Okay, I say uh, the police department's on fire, but we got some people out, but they really need help. Uh, she kind of looks strained for a minute, looks at you, looks back in the direction of the police department. All right, come on. All right. And so the two of you rush back towards the LMPD. I want you to make me a perception check as well. Okay. Kyoko. <clears throat> Things I am not great at. Oh, natural 20. So 21. Ooh. Very one, good. Two, Damn. One. You're in luck. Hey. <laughs> I needed some after that. Because you were sort of jogging away, looking around, trying to find some sort of, maybe an abandoned cart, uh, maybe something overturned, um, even like there's apparently a bicycle factory in Lavarazma, mm-hmm. as I mentioned before. So apparently some bicycles. <laughs> Who knows? Are there the big skull cracker type bicycles with wood giant? Oh, wheel? you mean the velocipedes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, that's yeah. classic. Anyway, mm-hmm. I need one. oh yeah, you oh. sure do. So you book it down an alley. Mm-hmm. Theodore would call. And at the very end, a streak of white shoots out in front of the alley. You collide with it mm. and fall head over heels onto the street. Beyond it, you've realized that you've essentially hit the hood of a car and tumbled over. <laughs> you see as you look behind you that it is the sleek alabaster car of Lady Straw. Nice. I, I'm i going to just have like a quick gl- like pop-up glance inside. Dear, dear fix. You see the familiar figure, although very sweaty, uh, of uh, Wendon. Wendon! Lady Straub's servant. Gonna do like both paws on the hood, just heavy <laughs> hit. We need your car, and then rush around to get into the side. Okay. You see that you see he, passenger side. Without speaking, he very quickly begins to like move some things out of the passenger side. You see that the interior of the car is like full to the brim with what looks like uh, heirlooms and knickknacks. Oh, and there's a painting in the back. There's all sorts of stuff. <laughs> what? what? Well, of course. Moves yeah, the stuff out of the way for you know. to sit in. <sighs> La Marazma Police Department. Yeah. Why? Yeah. This is not that. <laughs> <laughs> you see him. <laughs> and, and, and burn rubber, and the two of you uh, drive towards the La Marazma Police Department. A lot of you converge. <clears throat> um, did you make that medicine check? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Let's see that. Oh, uh, that's 11. It's 11. Okay, so, so you look. So clearly. Um, 
you have a limited amount of, you know, sort of medical yeah, understanding. Yeah. You know that what you could do for her in terms of, like, giving her CPR, if you will, yeah, yeah, or, yeah. like, you know, gunpowder, the body, or, the... you know, or what have you, that's not going to do it. She's neither going to go to, like, a surgeon, okay. you know, for, for, for proper She needs care. magic. As you're rushing up back with the nurse, <clears throat> um, you, her sat sees the nurse, waves her forward, and she begins to stabilize Aaron, like actually opening up the carpet bag she has and pulling out some, uh, some uh, alcohols and bandages and so on. Um, you then hear this rumbling noise, and sure enough, the alabaster car of Lady Straub drives up, Wenbin in the driver's seat, and Kyoko in the passenger seat. I look back and... <laughs> you see Wenbin almost like sort of vigorously jiggling in the, in the driver's seat. Got we'll make it legs. quick. <laughs> Gonna hop out, head over to Marshall Arizots. Is the car bottomed out? <laughs> Man, I hope not. I hope he's a better driver. I uh, just like no, point to the vehicle. The stuff he has. Got means for you to get out of the city if you really want it. I'm staying behind now. He kind of looks at he looks at you, and there's a there's a kind of a moment of a flash of recognition. And uh, he he gets up, uh, does a quick check with the nurse and Aaron, and tells them like, "Hey, you've got mm-hmm. passage. You go with them. You get out." And he turns to look at you and says, "Where are we going?" Well, has he been here? I'm not there. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not. Wherever you plan to go, we're gonna go to ground, figure out who's responsible for this, and take care of the problem. We're heading to Auckland. Cut. To uh, Foxborough, okay. the two of you, the uh, exchange has just happened. Uh, Liam, <laughs> who's been exposed now, you've had a sort of a brief second oh of, of, re- of registration between the three of you, and he books it down an alleyway, and so I need all, both of you, and Liam, of course, himself, to make athletics checks. How much does he look like me? How, how like do we look? What did you decide? He doesn't... Does it, I can show you a picture. Still has okay. a mustache. That's a good question. I bet, like, part of it is singed, yeah. but the very tip is, like, embered. Take a look at this. Well, you know, okay. it depends on how much product does he put so, in. Yeah. If it's I a flame catch product, it's, it's yeah. going to flame up yeah. like crazy. Yeah. He looks nothing That's, what, oh. I'm, that's yeah. what I'm thinking. Oh, okay. like, we are, like, clean shaved. <laughs> so I can add an intellect oh, die oh, yeah. with my sage <laughs> advice ability um, to anyone who's attempting an action, including me. Mm-hmm. Um, oh. Uh, what I don't know for sure is whether or not that applies to. I don't, I don't know if that works like a bardic ability. I think that's like what to we've, both of us. Yeah, we've already that's like. That's, that's, yeah. that's what we had. Okay, all right. So that's a d8. Uh, or, yeah, it oh. should be a d8. Okay. Oh, eight. Oh, that's so nice. I can give us both plus eight on this. I think it's just one. It ha- it ha- well, it has to be just for one person. Okay. You're giving mm-hmm. the die yeah. to them, essentially. Gotcha. Right. Um, so I can give it to you since you rolled it. Mm, sure. Sure. I get, I'm I guess. fine. I got a 14. That's okay. Decent. All right. So we're making an athletics check. Athletics check. What'd you get? 14. 14. Okay. And I got 16 plus 8, 24. Okay. So. I'm going to plus 8 this. Liam very quickly sort of turns on his heels, rushes down in an alleyway past the burning remains of, of the warehouse. You on all fours. Oh. <laughs> tail like, in the air. With like yeah. with the same way that a jaguar's tail will kind of like rotate to kind of create yeah. torque. Oh, yeah. like, right. like pad forward. Uh, you close the distance in half the time. I'm just like watching. And you are <laughs> running very quickly, but basically you blink and Sandy's already there. <laughs> Sandy, what are you doing as as Liam is running? I'm going to tackle him. Okay. So you tackle. You see the two of them in a, 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 a blur of fur and fabric roll down the cobblestone streets. And now um, he and you are kind of locked in this sort of physical struggle. Yeah. Right? My, my, I'm basically grappling. My attempt is to control him physically until she arrives. Okay. Then I will need another uh, athletics check. Oh, Lord. You can okay. do it. And he's going to try to wriggle out of that. You, in the meantime, can, I can close this. I mean, I'm not that great at athletics. I'm just okay. You can re-roll if need be. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to re-roll. <laughs> All right. That's an 11. An 11? Yeah. Okay. So the two of you are struggling, 
and you see his face clear as day. He's sort of got a, a kind of a, um, a, a brownish red sort of complexion, uh, sharp uh, brown goatee with beard, you know, chin beard and that sort of thing. Messy black hair. His eyes are like sort of like orange yellow. Um, and uh, he bears more than a passing resemblance to Laris, but <coughs> they look fairly different as well. They look like from their different sides of the same family. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, Struggling with you, you suddenly see his hands begin to sort of light up, and okay. then on your forearms, you feel this sort of burning sensation, um, mm. singeing. You recoil in pain, and he sort of slides out underneath you. Is it bought, is it bought her enough time to, to arrive? She's yeah. You're 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 close. You could like Great. conceivably like uh, yeah. Just try to stop him. We okay. Me to use for that. Then that would be athletics as well. Where it's this pure like fighting. Fighting kind of style. Can I re-roll stuff. as well, please? Yeah. Uh, now everything's fine. Very good. Yep. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> that was even worse. Oh, no. Damn it. That's a six. Sad face. Okay. With a six. All right. So you right, jump. You rush Fuck forward. It. Try to grab him. You can't, <laughs> you can't find that one. So he gets, a, he gets a, a couple of feet ahead. He's continuing to, to, to book it. You say so you draw your weapon. Yep, sure do. And what happens now? I'm going to shoot at his leg. Okay. Cold shot. So we'll consider that a cold shot. Oh, right. shit. Yeah. Okay, so how much harder is it going to be? Good luck. No, it, it just doesn't do damage. It doesn't do damage, but it will incur, it will incur a, 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 a an injury. Right? Um, what is wrong with you? Okay, I'm done. Uh, that was one. Oh. So that's a misfire, right? I think our misfire if you're using an archaic weapon, yeah, that's a misfire. It's, it's, not, it's the it's newer not revolver, revolver, right? Then, then yeah. there's no misfire. Yeah. So technically it was a 16. Excuse me. Damn it. A 6 to hit? Okay. Yeah. So... But as I shoot, I'll at least like I'm yell at him to stop. Maybe it'll scare him enough that he'll stop. So you... So what... The order of this is important. Do you say stop no, and I then shoot. fire? Or I do you shoot, fire and then say and stop? Then I shoot, miss, and go, stop! Okay. <laughs> you fire. Pew. It pings off of the cobblestone. Uh, about, about three feet away from him on the right-hand side. Um, you yell stop. There's a bit of a hesitation in his stride, but he continues to run. Okay, fine. Keep chasing. And then... Uh-oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> if you want... I'm going to turn two of these over and make something beneficial happen for you. What's but I can't tell you what it is. Okay, mm. fine. Yeah, do it. Let's go. That's the I don't know, man. We're going to find out. He's Red dragon shows up. <laughs> Never no. deal with dragons. Liam continues rushing Shadow down this, 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 mm-hmm. this alleyway. You hear what sounds like a heavy sort of cracking noise. And you see just as uh, Liam is sort of taking a a long sort of turn stride, kind of skidding a little bit, trying to make his way out down the street. You see what looks like the flaming remains of a balcony crumble off the side of a building and strike him in the sort of lower torso. He he did. Okay, I will run up and start just trying to pull it off of him. You see that he there this flaming sort of pine, this heavy sort of wood beams Mm -hmm. and are essentially... Uh, over his waist and legs, okay. essentially trapped by the, from the lower to the torso down from there. You see him sort of... <sighs> I'll take off my cloak as I run and like throw it over the wood beams and try to just like lift it up off of him. Okay, that's going to be an athletics check. Yeah, I know. I'm it's... going with her, of course. Can I help her? If you want to help, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, okay. Then yeah, yeah. one of you roll with advantage. Okay, what's your strength? My strength is 12. Mine's 15. Go. All right. <laughs> Are you are you advantage? Advantage? I am training. Oh, 20. So you probably it doesn't matter. You got nat, nat 20. 20. So that's a total of 22. If it's just a straight up strength. Yeah, it's just a, it, well, it's an athletics. athletics. Right? Do you have any okay. athletics? Okay, well, it's still plus two. Okay, very good. Right. Right. Skill. So the two of you together, Jeez. thankfully this wasn't like... Who has that trained? Huh? Thankfully this wasn't an ornate, <laughs> like, you know, like a theater balcony. It was essentially <laughs> like a... I'm, not an awning exactly, but a, a small balcony that you could step out of from your room to sort of look out on the street below. Okay. So you manage to move away through these heavy beams, being careful about the fire. 
uh, in, in, the, in the process. And you see, uh, as you remove the beams, you see Liam is there lying on the ground. Um, he is in considerable pain because it looks like both of his legs have been broken. Cool. I will pick him up uh, under his shoulders and like... Ah, uh, well, you won't watch what you're doing there. Like, there's a place with oh, oh, yeah, okay, issues. now I'll be real compassionate and considerate of you. I, you don't know the half of it, all right? So you oh, can great, okay, fine, why don't you just go ahead and tell me, mm-hmm. and I'll just, like, no, berate no, him the whole time. Be, think no, about, no, 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 not for the venue, for this. <laughs> Sandy, grab his other arm, let's uh, go. All right, all right. I, I agree with the cat person, can you just get, get the hell out of here? His name's Sandy, and he would be nice to him. Yeah, whatever. Mm-hmm. So the lot of you, where are you headed now? Um, let's find a doctor or a hotel or something. Thank you. Is there are there other people running around us, or is this part of town more or less deserted? This this particular part of town, is, there are a handful of people making their way um, down the streets towards the exit of the city, but um, but it's considerably thinned out. It looks like most of the people have either already gotten away, or maybe they have died in the ensuing chaos of goblin attacks and. And blazes, essentially. So it's a very, very few people are out on the streets tonight. Okay. At least in Boxborough, anyway. All right. Hmm. Um, where to go? I mean, there are no buildings to go to that are safe. They're all burning. The fire is spreading pretty quickly here in Boxborough because of the the old materials, the poor upkeep, and everything like that. Right. Right. Dense construction. Um, sure. Would his dense construction, gunpowder, <laughs> being stored places. Ooh. Would yeah. his ability of like fast traveling yeah. through places he's been before help us oh, yes, get sir. out of Pax yeah, faster. Yeah. So it might just be best we to like it. double our travel, tra- yeah. travel speed as long as we're Until we can find like a taxi or something. Probably nothing's running right I would now, say so. given that she is carrying her half-brother, I would say it's like more like one and a half sure. times. But um, yeah. I just need to know where you're, where you're going. Where, where, what's your, what's your plan? Uh-huh. Um, all right. So, map in my head. What's close? <laughs> God. <laughs> You're all right, buddy. Um, what's closer, <laughs> the outside of the city or a part of the city that's not burning? No. Like, good neighborhood. From Poxborough, it looks like just in the immediate distance that you're able to see, like, uh, the peering over the, the building line and everything like that, it looks like the fire is spread to all of the districts of the city. So the closest thing to be was just would just be to find the mm-hmm. edge of Poxborough mm-hmm. and just go out okay. into uh, sort of the surrounding frontier. Any objections? Let's just go. All right, off we go. We gotta find some place to hold up and talk to him, get some answers, find the rest mm-hmm. of our people. Is he wearing robes from this organization? He 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 is. Yes. I'm gonna strip those off him because I don't want to draw attention. I mean, mm-hmm. people are probably not real happy with. Are you doing this right on now. the move? Why not? So you're holding your. I mean, I've got claws. I just ripped the thing off him. Okay. All right. I, didn't, I didn't know if you were just like. All right. Let me just. Put your <laughs> no, no, no. That's okay. So you're I, yeah tearing yeah, that open. I, I, it, 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 if, mm. if people in town understand that these people are the cause of the city mm-hmm. burning down, sure. we don't want yeah, to don't draw want... attention to ourselves. You well, he's got a sort of a, a, a simple like farming shirt and a, you know a, some some sort of dark brown. Uh, pants on underneath uh, the the robe as you sort of tear that apart. You hear him sort of y- yell and and and, and uh, curse a little bit as you're jostling his legs around. Sorry, uh, sorry. <laughs> and a lot of you head towards the uh, the borderline between Poxborough and the Ulthican frontier. Okay, cutting back to uh, our friends in, uh, in front of the LMPD. Uh, sh- uh, Wenben has managed to toss out a couple of the the less important items uh, in the in the vehicle, and has made room for uh, the two of you, uh, nice. Velvet and Gabriel, and the nurse and um, uh, Aaron as well, who is still unconscious and in, in bad condition, stable but but in poor poor health. I was going with her. Okay. Well, in that case, sure. Yeah. Um, so wait, what was the plan? Where are we? Where's the car going? Car's going out of town. Oh, no, I'm not leaving. No, no, no. We're no, no. getting out of here. <laughs> yeah, 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 no. Real quick. Well, um, you, you're home. 
No, 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 I, I still have business here. Um, yeah, there is not going to be a business soon enough. There's not been no place to like, put the money down because all the bloody banks and the countertops are on fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, just real quick, a um, detect magic on the car and everything in the car? You don't really have to do that because you know it's magic, right? I'm I mean, more concerned about what he's bringing... Like, oh, the out. stuff. Take, yeah, the yeah. stuff. Yeah, I mean, you, well, you can cast it or you can do the 10 minute ritual. No, <laughs> no, I do it at will. Oh, that's right. Because yes, you're awesome. Taking, that's right. Okay, so you, <laughs> so you cast Detect Magic. Sure enough, you're getting that magic aura from the car itself being powered right, by the right, trouble right. to everything, blah, blah, blah. But other than that, it seems like everything Just in here is mundane. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I'm not I'm not leaving. I have. Uh, I have. I mean, Kyoko is here. I assume you will help me around, right? With what? With our friend, you know. Fine, we fine. It's not excruciatingly bad now, you? No, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going now. Is everybody on board? Yeah? I'm going to look, look at Erzatz. Everybody who needs to be on, on. Here's that. Looks inside. Let's do just real quick, Erzos, uh, you interrogated the, the burlap sack, right? <laughs> Just can send Winbin on his way now. <laughs> I had an opportunity to, uh, to extract some information from him before the sorting started. Real quick, before you leave. <sighs> apparently, <clears throat> this, uh, apparently this figure out right now was, uh, uh, was uh, hired to do some uh, preparatory work for this very attack. Uh, hired by a figure, someone uh, called uh, uh, Viber. Mm. <sighs> Apparently, he's uh, breaking into various nobles' estates in Coldcrest. Was uh, either it was personal time for him or sort of a smoke screen. It's difficult to tell. Mm. Either way, we need to head over to Oakland because if I know how this is going to shake out, Viber has some sort of connection with the Creed. And the Creed, operating out of Oakland, if they're still there, will have answers. And perhaps a more, few more people that we can uh, interrogate. Yeah, sounds good. Very well. Um, cool. Uh, thank you, Erzatz. You're like... Yeah. Stay cool. <laughs> Don't, you know... Yeah, you're you're a good person. Try not to die. Gabriel is the yeah. most awkward human being <laughs> in the world. Or yeah. Elf, anyway. So, yeah. Gabriel, no you world. and Velvet are going with Marshall Airsets and Kyoko? Yeah. Okay, sounds good. So, he Airsets gestures to Wenben and says, you know, just move along, get out of here. Um, Wenben, you see, takes a moment and digs in sort of the floorboard of the car, retrieves what looks like a scroll of parchment around which a sort of a, a dark uh, blue ribbon has been uh, tied, and he uh, leans past Airsats out of the passenger side window and chucks it at you. I will attempt to catch it. <laughs> okay, you, yeah, I mean, it's, you can, you can <laughs> catch it. I won't make you roll for <laughs> <laughs> Into the fire. Yeah. Into the fire. <laughs> Yeah, you see, you see Wenben. He sort of gives you a look. Congratulations! If you're still standing later, you're a homeowner. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. just, just a pure moment of like him. Oh God damn! Him? Her? 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 <laughs> Sorry. Her? Thank you. I, oh. And that that car peels out and heads uh, out of the city. Oh, there's fire insurance. I will curse a lot in Gnomish. <laughs> okay, so Caraca. I don't understand. Where the fuck are you? Good. <laughs> From that yeah. in bro. Oh, I do understand. Mm. Nice. <laughs> like, nice. trying to put out fires. That, yeah. That's... Okay. That you and a couple of other uh, uh, civil-minded... Uh, uh, volunteers are uh, gathering buckets of water from various sort of <laughs> pump stations really. and are chucking it at buildings, mm. trying your best to quench I, I, I'm the I'm spending fires. two spell slots to cast Create Water, which makes a 30-foot cube of water... Which his flames. So, All right, very good. Trying to like cut off a section of, of like trying to splinter the like fire. Like a fire break. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's cool. So the two of you, Laris carrying mm -hmm. Liam and Sandy, um, mm -hmm. you see that uh, ahead of you there's a considerable portion of people sort of lined right, up, so. like actively working. They're not fleeing the city. You see a familiar looking face shaping water. Uh, around the building. 
All right, we make our way for Karaka. He's our boy. <laughs> I assume, unless you have an objection. No, I'm just. Com- I'm probably moving a little behind you. Can we just get out of here? Fuck, man. <laughs> Well, out, oh, out of boy. here is between us and Karaka. Or oh, Karaka boy. is between us and out of here. So. Oh, I'm sorry. I think those without broken legs are going to be making a decision. <laughs> right. God, you are such so... well, a... Oh, go ahead. Yeah. You want to call me bad names? Yeah, all right. Well, so, so, so we... Ah, it hurts. Sorry, sorry. Mama so they twist a little bit. The, so you folks push through the, the sort of crowd. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Meet with Karaka there. As Can't you do healing? Is that something you do? Don't heal him quite yet. He's a cleric of Moradin, so... Oh, what? <laughs> you can't heal him. Really, what can. he does. I can't. Cool. I only have one spell slot slot. Uh, you know. oh. <laughs> gotta save it, you know? That's not money. Save, let's not spend it yeah, on Yeah, okay, mister, let me press the digitate Theodore's tuxedo was, first. Hey, 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 it was... <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that takes out because he has to cast it, you know, a minute at a time. So it, a little spot no, at a time. It's, so it's six seconds. It's, it's just a cast. It's like a foot square area. Yeah. Right? No. So about so it wouldn't take too long for yeah. a suit. Like a couple of minutes. Yeah. Each layer. Oh, ooh, that's a good point. Uh, I didn't think about that. That's a good point. <laughs> uh, that's fair. We're Victorian here. <laughs> that's right. Uh, All right. Plus, it's only so, the soot and then the scent and then the. <laughs> so, Karaka, you see the two of these people coming towards you. You see Laris has got, like, a body over her shoulder. Oh, we're. we're a live we're, person. We're, 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 nah, we're teeing you. Oh, right. I. Uh, one, one of well, that genre. would suck. <laughs> He would be complaining mm. far more. Oh, yeah. true. My, my assumption legs. was yeah, that we'll it was just, a, okay, yeah, kind of like a shoulder or a fireman. Because originally I was going to do that, and I was like, wait, his legs are broken. It's yeah. not going to work. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, fair enough. He jammed his toe on every stone he you passed. Know, yeah. Rock is a lot faster moving with a burden than either of us. That's Perhaps he will help us. We, we fill Karak in on what's going on. Without telling him who Liam is. Right. Yeah. Just, no, yeah. that's fair. Mm-hmm. So, so what? We... we Get him out of town before he burns alive. We need to find somewhere for so him he can. Because he can't walk. Well, a balcony fell on him, and both of his legs are broken. And we need to get some answers out of him and know what's going on. Answers? What? <laughs> did he start the fire? <laughs> That's what we're trying to figure out. Did you? Must who, who the fuck is to, Lee? Will you turn me around, please? <laughs> this is Karaka. He is my friend. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he also has a very large weapon if you piss him off. Look, can we just get out of here, okay? Let's. We'll talk about it later. I guarantee you I'll regale you with all the shit you need to know later, as long as we're out of the, the part that's on fire. How about that? That's what I have to say, right? ah, fuck. <laughs> it seems like he needs his leg readjusted. <laughs> he uh, could use some help. Both, both of them, actually. <laughs> He needs all kinds of readjustment. We can start with his legs. <laughs> we'll get that set in you know, oh, right yeah. proper. I've heard stories. I didn't hear. I, I didn't break my fucking ears. I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Can you help us? As long as this town's all right. I don't think it's going to be all right. Do you have create vehicle? <laughs> I do not have summon steed. Okay. That's a well, third no. level spell. So. <laughs> I'm going to take yeah. <laughs> I don't think clerics get that. That one, no. If you're paladin, I think so. I think it's mm-hmm. paladin. Yeah. So the, the uh, volunteers that you're working with are still doing their best to gather water and extinguish the fires. It's clear that they're in a losing battle, yeah. though. I made a 60-foot cube. That that's, that's a lot of water, so... I, I did what I could to help staunch... Yeah, they're in, they're in a sort of, because of the create water, they're in a kind of like a detente now, essentially. They have a couple of buildings in front of them are like, mm-hmm. you know, just sort of smoldering or are beginning to sort of extinguish themselves. The fire is still raging everywhere. Everywhere, and so it's only a matter of time before these things catch again. Let's get. Right, off we go. So you guys just huffing it? Yes. Out of the city? Maybe in the long um, there's uh, a vehicle around I don't know the other way. way. Is there, is there, can, is there can, another option that I may not be noticing? You can take the time to search and see if there's an abandoned carriage or a cart or something mm-hmm. like that that might make yep. your travel faster. Oh, okay. However, the longer you spend in the city, the more right, dangerous right. it becomes. Right. Um, the buildings around us right now are not burning, right? The ones on the right-hand side where you met That's Karaka, it's like, a, it's like a group of about three or four of them okay. that are not actively burning. I go up the side of one 
and just look around and see if I see anything. Sure, you climb up the side. Okay. Take a look. Give me a perception check. Uh, do it with advantage because you're on the roof. Gotcha. Um, Actually, my apologies. Do it normally because it cancels out because there's smoke everywhere. Okay. Hmm. That makes sense. Check side. Oh. Check side. Ten. Ten? Mm-hmm. Okay. Quick look. It looks like any, uh, you see a, a cart or two or a carriage, but they all look like they're currently manned with people, okay. with goods, and heading out. Okay. All right. So unless you sort of uh, commandeer those things, it looks like you're out of luck. Uh, okay. Well, all right. Um, I'll carry him. All right. It's so I'm going to move along on the all right. rooftops just, just... as long as I safely can, and then I'll Come back down. Careful. So that I can see. He's not a. If there's anything. Very nice person, but we shouldn't let anything bad happen to him. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. Ah, well, he can't run away, so. Fuck, fuck, god damn it. He can use god magic still. So. Ah! That's true. Mm. Alright. I'm still looking around as long as I still, can. Still rushing but, out of but, the city. Yeah, he can use magic, we should tie his hands and then put a cloth in his mouth. Then he can't. Yes, much. One of those shreds of his, of his, uh, of his robe, I'll just, just like, stuff it in his mouth. <laughs> I'll look at Liam and go, if you cast any spells on my friend, I will shoot you. I, I just stuffed around. Uh, his uh, mouth. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, um, cut back to our, our newly deputized, <laughs> if you will, a uh, group here. Boy. So, Kyoko, Velvet, Gabriel, you are following Marshal Airsats. Uh, Marshal Airsats has managed to commandeer a carriage. Of course he has. Um, that was, was being unused. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the horses were a little spooked, but he manages, managed to um, uh, rein them in, quite literally. And uh, the, the, the all of you loaded in, and you made your way towards Okerland. Uh, you break the sort of district barrier between... Um, if I'm remembering correctly, the map that I drew. Um, <laughs> um, oh, sh- oh, shut up. <laughs> you too, huh? What was, what was the game that, that was doing that? Through the, through the barrier between no, no, um, no, the, Gainsey and, 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 and Oakland. Mm-hmm. Right? And so, yeah. um, there is, uh, you're, as you're rounding a corner and going down through the main thoroughfare in Oakland. Uh, you see um, towering in the middle of the street oh, boy. is what looks like a oh, no. massive plume of fire in a vaguely humanoid shape. Oh, God. This plume of fire sees you. Oh, no. <laughs> there is a burst of flame, and this sort of ball of fire shoots forward and is in a collision course with your carriage. Uh, I need everybody to make dexterity saves. Please. Oh boy, GG. Uh, Good yeah. save, but I've been rolling like shit. The real Dark Souls begins here. Oh, I actually rolled good. Has oh. it never happened again? Yeah, 14. 22. Yeah, nice. I'll, I'll flip one of these, please. Okay, roll I, I don't, I, yeah. Dice are not your mm. friend. Look, man, you should have taken the eight and run with it. <laughs> no, 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 eight was for Theodore. Oh, <laughs> oh no! He's usually how okay does with a, fire. How does a one treat you? Ooh. A one? I mean, it, it treats me fine. Mm. I'm good. What, what are the results for everybody else? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Fourteen. Fourteen. Our friend in the carriage. He was a little distracted by the horses and the fact that he's on a carriage. Got a thirteen. So uh, eleven for Theodore. Eleven for Theodore. Okay. So, this fireball comes through. You see uh, airsats very quickly pull the reins off to the side. You see the horses begin to sort of freak out, rain backwards. The whole carriage sort of begins to turn over, smashes on its side. The horses sort of tumbling in on each other. And the fireball just manages to strike sort of the rear end of the carriage. Um, Watch out! Blasting... Our friend Gabriel and his uh, his companion Theodore in the oh, face no. with a considerable amount of fire. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. Seven fire damage Ooh. for both peoples. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
You see, um, the you've essentially got this wreckage of a carriage now, the horses. It looks like at least one of them has broken a leg and they're sort of like twisted into each other. Um, you see Airsats sort of climbing out of, out, of the, out of the wreckage, taking a look at this thing. Um, you see him uh, very quickly um, draw a, uh, a pistol out of a um, uh, holster on his side and begin sort of making his way intently towards the 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 fire beast thing wah, wah, wah. <laughs> rushing towards you okay so this this part is where we roll initiative oh, oh sounds about right mm-hmm. see so hopefully we have fire jackets Come on. Possible. i don't get it <laughs> like there it is. Yeah. i have like that was actually random that was the first oh, really? yeah. nice <laughs> This goes into. You're gonna start making a pile of the dice. Yeah. Okay. So everybody who is there, no, no let's small. let's roll initiative. So what? What did you get? A miniature, eight. Uh, eight like the, for Kyoko. The gelatinous cube with all of your dice. I got eight 19. as well. Nineteen for Velvet. Very good. Plus three decks. Same as well. Uh, Gabriel. Eight. Gabriel got an eight as well. What? Mm-hmm. And Theodore's acting on your turn. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So we've got uh, fire, fire friends. So scared for this mm-hmm. really bad uh, Fire is mm-hmm. not our friend. I'd be sc- so scared, like <laughs> these pieces, like break it. Oh, yeah, I have. Mm-hmm. Them. And we've got our other mm-hmm. friends. Because even in foam, one other friend. They just saw the fire yeah, friends. So. Like I'm talking about the uh, air set. He's on the ship. Can we so? There are foam composers I like as much as Neil Morricone, but there aren't any that I like more. <laughs> it has been a while since I sat down and watched a bit of spaghetti last year. Although I've, I've had more problems with them. Got a handful of them. I, I went through a phase where I watched a lot of them. And so between like between Kyoko and Gabriel, which one of you is the higher deck contract? We're the same. same. Okay, then choose which. Who will let's go first? I can go first if you don't want uh, to. I mean, out of the two of you. Let's yeah. say you go first because Sounds I'm good. stuck under the carriage, I assume, and like sure. the fireball explosion. <laughs> It'll take me a second to get out. You're like, uh, uh, Theo, oh. carry me! Yeah. <laughs> oh, the leg. Oh, oh no. Dude, you're fine. Walk it off. No, I'll never walk again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys. Okay, so Velvet, you're actually first up. It wasn't the fireball, he stubbed his toe. Right. <laughs> How far away from this fire beast am I? Uh, let's see. About 45 feet. Too bad. Okay. 45 feet. So. Jesus. Cries out for magical. I'll advance 30 feet mm-hmm. and go into a walkover dance. Okay. Ooh. And that's right. Okay. Ah, so our fiery friend begins to advance down the street. You can see the cobblestones are actually catching fire, like actively as he's okay. coming by. Um, and he's a he's a large creature. I mean that in both. Jesus, here is he is he a an elemental or he's a humanoid took a form of fire? He looks like an elemental to you. It's okay. just pure fire okay. in the shape of a. Like a arms and legs okay. and that sort of thing. Um, we probably need some arcana to know for sure. So this, so this creature is, is moving forward, um, setting fire to the place as he's walking. Um, let's see. So it begins to sort of. You actually see it begin to like, begin to rush forward. Like not just walking, but mm. rushing towards you. So you are now within fifteen feet of it because you moved up, right? It's going to rush towards you because it sees you advancing, and then reaches out with its hand. Is essentially going to try to. It has to make a dexterity save. Okay, nice. It's going to do so with a dash. So it rolled a ten. Attack automatically misses. Okay. Nice. There's a quick, and you see a velvet sort of. Make do a kind stuff. of a, a spin twist through the fire and the flames. Just, uh, <laughs> pirouettes out of the <laughs> Pirouettes out of the way as the, the fiery hand just sort of like moves <clears> through. <throat> her. Triple axle through. Hmm. 
I think Velvet kind of might be my spirit animal. <laughs> <laughs> you see this, uh, this, this creature, realizing it misses, tries again with oh, the shit. other hand. It can actually make this attack without a dexterity <laughs> save. It's only the first attack each round? I'm yeah, pretty sure it is. Because it probably okay. takes a reaction. No, it doesn't take a reaction. I think it's just the first attack. That's mm-hmm. 20 to hit you. Yes, oh. that hits me. You guys. So that is... Aww. Oh, wait. It's not ballistic, so... It would... 13 fire damage. Okay, oh. I'm down. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Also, you're on fire, by the way. Oh, oh that's even better. Things that are not good. <clears throat> this has just hit top of the list. There's this burst of flame you see. Uh, Velvet collapse on, onto, onto the ground and is actively like on fire. Like, mm. quite literally. Mm. Not like she's doing real well, but like she's actually doing poorly and is mm. also mm. on fire. Yeah. Yeah. We get it. Yeah, there's, yeah. Subtle, there's subtle difference. Subtle difference. Uh, uh, kill not quite Overwatch. Kill you're up. Okay. I, we're going to approach within five feet of the creature. Oh, uh, that's hot. Yeah. <laughs> I... So I guess there's technically ten feet between us, so I can make this attack without disadvantage. Uh, and just go for a regular shotgun blast. We'll go with buckshot and see how that goes. Okay. All right. Uh, math. Math. Yeah, I know it happens. So math. Thirty-four. That doesn't sound. To hit? To 24, sorry. <laughs> oh, my oh, I want Steven's dice. Yeah. Did you level up to 12? <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. Here's one. No, 24, sorry. 24 does hit. Carry an extra one there. Yeah, literally an extra one. Uh, for a grand total of five bludgeoning damage. Five oh, bludgeoning boy. damage. Huh? Better than no bludgeoning damage. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so this thing's <laughs> probably got 200 hit points. You see yeah. that the the sort of the body of the flame, you see that it sort of distorts slightly. It looks like it sort of curves and twists. But it doesn't look like you've done much work. That's mm-hmm. fair. It's close enough that I can hopefully pick up Vixen and we can get out of here. Velvet? Velvet, sorry. Why do I keep calling Well, Velvet is actively on fire, so you yeah. have to... Ex- unless you want to, like, ow, 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 <laughs> pop potato it. <laughs> And I'm actively dying, so yep. it right. might be a good idea to put me out. Gabriel. So, Prestigitation... I assume that was the end of your turn. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, Prestigitation I says I can snuff out a candle. That's or a torch <laughs> or a small this campfire. Is like, <laughs> is this is like a hundred thousand candles. Right, so it will be... How, how, about, how about... How about... Uh, how about uh, now I'm going to call you a vixen. Dying. That's like 50 candles. That's still too many still candles. Still no... <laughs> But a torch. Yeah, a well, small campfire. campfire. A small campfire? She's not that big. You could extinguish, like, if you used press of digitation mm-hmm. on... Yeah, it'll take, like, not... She like, would, no. unfortunately, she would probably die of failed death saves. <laughs> okay, before you. okay. Oh, boy. Because <laughs> every time uh, she takes damage... So, can we... Like, what's the dif- failed, yeah. distance? So, the I'm about 45 feet away from the flaming guy, right? How far At is... this point, you are... Um, oh, yeah, he moved 35? So you moved 30 feet ahead, mm. and then he moved 15. to close. Mm-hmm. So now you're within about 30. Focusing mm-hmm. on Velvet is probably the best thing. You're not going to do enough damage to this thing. Please put me out. <laughs> I, I, I'd like not to die. <laughs> Put put you out as in like put you out. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Uh, she's on fire. I have to put her down. It's basically like running into an elevator while the building's on fire. I mean, <laughs> yeah, right. Being like, thrown over her would probably do the trick. Okay. Uh, oh, my cloak. <laughs> um, okay. Just imagine what my character would do if she was there right now. Like save uh, someone. Okay. <laughs> so. Um, oof. That that would first. This is this is actually real people. hard. Okay, so they require understanding. Mm-hmm. People. Yes. Yeah, um, how it's hard. <laughs> what are we other talking about here exactly? <laughs> so I'm gonna it's derailed. Say Theodore. Tell Theodore to attack. Uh, just point at you know rubble or like whatever he can find on the ground and just toss it at this creature. Sure. <laughs> okay. And, uh... Quick, throw rocks at it. <laughs> I will... 
think it's too position myself kind of like a little bit to the side from where like everyone is fighting and um, but getting closer to velvet and then I will take a shot at this creature with my heavy pistol dude my speed is 20 just a reminder. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, we yeah. get the broken leg. I forgot, so, that. I forgot about the broken Okay, leg. fire Theodore, away. Well, let, uh, let's do Theodore's attack. Okay, okay. sure. Uh, that's a 24. 24? Okay, that's going to hit. Yeah, I would assume so. For five bludgeoning damage. Sounds good. As he chucks like a rock or whatever he, he can find on the street. <laughs> then I will fire away. Just a chair. 13. Just 13, 13 hits. Whoa! It is massive. <clears throat> nice. Large. Ooh, that's a it's ten. It's massive. massive. It is large. Yeah, ten tough. piercing damage. <clears throat> ten nice. piercing damage. Okay. Or whatever it takes. All right. It's large, giant, then massive. No, massive isn't a size. A piece it's of rubble gigantic gets gigantic chucked. Thing? Sort of distorts the body, gigantic. bullet fires, distorts the body slightly. But the thing still looks considerably yeah, yeah, yeah. intact. Is there two Gs there? Oh no, Velvet! Maybe like... Was... Maybe three. I, was... <laughs> I believed it. You yeah. solved it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Oscar goes to <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now... Uh, is there anything else in your turn, Gabriel? No, that's pretty much, yeah. It is Marshall Airsatz's turn. So you see him. He is moving up. He's got his pistol. He's steadying it with his other hand. He's rushing forward. He sees basically what happened to Velvet. That's what I was um, And a lot of you have been sort of attacking this thing and trying your best to um, to uh, affect it. uh, To affect it in some Mm -hmm. way. Yeah. Repeat it. You see that he um, disrupt. You see, he quickly. There's a there's a sort of a, a look of understanding in his eyes he drops the pistol um opens up his uniform and pulls out what looks like a strange metallic uh, sphere with these sort of nubs uh, you know out of it oh i forgot i could do that (laughs) whoops he takes it there's actually what looks like a winding key inside of it much like a clockwork Mm. thing Uh you see one, two, five, three, three sir, ten. three! He chucks it uh, oh towards the beast. Oh, boy. Nice. Uh, this thing falls in and sort of like, it seems like absorbed almost by the fire. Mm-hmm. And then uh, you see... Let's see. Yeah. Oh, Let's see. nice. Did he throw a Pokeball at it? <laughs> yeah. 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 Gotta jam that B button. It's the only way. So you see the the fire um, distorted by what looks like a concussive blast of pure force, pressure, air. You know, it's hard to tell. You see this sort of hole gonna blow open this uh, creature for a second, Um, and you see that its midsection is considerably small. (laughs) <laughs> you see that Hairsatz is looking at this thing you see him swear uh, <laughs> under his breath um, and we're back up with Velvet so Velvet Airsatz, you're currently you on fire more of those? so I take a death save yeah so you failed your death save because you're still on fire we've got then, two positives and then, you then I actually get to do one yes alright mm-hmm. 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 can I do it with advantage sure go mm-hmm. sp- other way sorry yeah can I spend one it's full a- on I, I gotta be both sides. <laughs> gotta be fair. Yep. Like Fox That's News, good. fair enough. That's good. Mm. It's good. Not those Fox So you got a positive? Yeah. Very good. Okay. Oh, now then, moving back to mm. the creature. Mm. The creature, very angry that he's been shot at, sees you actively with a shotgun <laughs> pointed at yeah, Five decide, feet away. Decides to try and hit you. Mm. Yeah. Oh boy. That is a 10 to hit. That will whiff. Oh, okay. So let's see here. So you're still far away. You you I'm, moved up. I'm about 20, 20 feet away. So you basically got out of the carriage, moved up about 10 feet. Yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah. right. Okay. So seeing that his first attack missed, he's now going to backhand and try to get it again. Comes the second. Another 10. So you're able to sort of like that swap. Dodge you're roll. doing the, yeah. the, the, the Dark Souls... Souls. Dodge, dodge roll. Dodge roll. Dodge roll. <laughs> Out of the way. Just, please don't pat roll. Just 
yeah. as sort of oh, yeah. arcs of fire tracing Light themselves armor. across the, the, the street. Uh, let's see. Kyoko, you're back up now. All right. I... Ooh. I'm going to quickly like grab these Dude, fine clothes from my backpack person. and use that to beat out the flames. On, uh, yeah. Yeah, on velvet. Okay, yeah. With that help, and if you're going to spend your turn doing yeah. that, yeah, then you've extinguished. Yeah. Okay. okay, sounds good. Yep. And Gabriel. Yeah. Um, how, hmm, how does this creature look like after the grenade? Or whatever the airsets? It look? looks like it took a, a decent amount of damage. It looks like the midsection of the creature airsets. is a little do you have, thinner, a little less con- Do you have any more of contiguous? those? Those <laughs> clockwork? Things. You see, he he kind of he he looks back at you, and gives you kind of an eyebrow, and as you see him open his um, his uh, uniform jacket, and you can see like literally twelve of these. Oh, <laughs> I want to be friends with this guy. Uh, oh, okay. Um, I'll I'll just uh, fire away at the thing then, I guess. Well. I'll say, okay, Theodore, grab Velvet and drag her away from this beast. And then I will fire away. So. Cover fire. So. <laughs> suppressing fire. If, <laughs> uh, Sorry, Theodore. Theodore's movement will be to get to Velvet. Mm-hmm. Which then, you can do so. Yeah, then his action would be to pick her up. To pick her up, yeah. Yeah. That's that's what you can do. That's a simple athletics check, then, I think. Simple athletics? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. That's a, a 13 for him. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. All right. Hoist you up. And uh, I'm going to fire away at the... Um, the creature oh, again? Yes. Hey, that's a 17. 17 does hit. Yes. Wow. For uh, nine piercing damage. Nine piercing damage. Okay, that's me. I'm helping. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, <laughs> like uh, the the Wiggum kid from yeah. Simpsons. <laughs> Not Wiggum. I'm helping. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> tastes like burning. Yeah. <laughs> so Theodore, as soon as you get a chance, just back away. <laughs> okay, and then I'll take cover because I have some movement to just duck around something in the street, like a pile of trash. Uh, dead horse that is, you know, was stripped to our sure. carriage or yeah. just you take some cut. Yeah. yeah. So uh, it's now Marsh Marshall Airsets' turn. You see him, seeing you know again doing very little. It looks like Velvet is going to be taken care of because he saw Theodore rush forward, mm-hmm. pick her up. So you see him. He sort of takes a heavy breath. He takes off his service jacket. You see him reach inside. Cool. Do some twisting Jesus gestures. <laughs> so essentially ball the thing up. Holy shit. And throw it <laughs> into the fire elemental's box. Oh, well, on. that's going to make this fight a lot shorter, so let's do it. Oh. This is Capricorn. Ooh, I would like martial oh, air stats to roll with advantage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can can they ask that? No, no, that ain't how this works. Like. Well, he can <laughs> use our good fortune. I don't mind. No, that's not how this works. Good try. Thanks. Okay. So, okay. so you see again, uh, air sets bundle up this 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 is his uniform jacket. Mm-hmm. Chuck it into the fire elemental. You see it get absorbed by the fire, um, and there's a sort of a, a, a point of tension there. You're like waiting for the oh, thing no. to happen. Mm-hmm. Is it like the scene in the Dark Knight with the Joker outside the hospital? Like, <laughs> like, click, click, oh, yeah, click, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shaky, 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 shaky. <laughs> Nothing oh. seems to happen. Oh, oh shit. damn. Nice. He flipped one. You, you realize that the that air set is sort of staring at this thing in, in, in confusion and a little bit Front of panic. Views. Velvet, it's now your turn. Let's go so you're extinguished, it. so all you gotta do is make another death set. Death it's a two. Oh boy. It's a fail, so two fails. Mm-hmm. But it's not a one. It's, it's not a one, that's right. So I didn't automatically die. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, let's see here. Ah, it's the see, fire we started stuff. this game thinking Kyoko would be the one dying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so this creature, if box. only they all look alike, moving forward, tries to do a Sorry. sort of an offhand swipe mm-hmm. towards you. Does an eight to hit you? I appreciate nope. the look. He ends rushing forward and is eventually barreling towards See, air mm. So he gets like one over and twenty, and then the rest of them are just. I've never met the character. That's a twenty. That's true. <laughs> there we go. Fine. Bad. I'm just untouchable because I was supposed to die earlier. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Clearly, what I'm understanding. Here. Oof. Big damage. All right. So he is going to take some painful hmm. things. He's already mm. hurt. Exactly. So you see him struck with a blaze of fire. Mm-hmm. You see him react and sort of start to sort of crumple down to, down down to his knees. The the this fire creature sort of looming over him. Uh, Kyoko, rack the shotgun. Move a bit closer to it. Mm. You hear yeah, Airsats. You hear Airsats as you're beginning to aim. You wow. hear him. What sounds like sort of the, the sort of roaring movement. Go! You can try to shoot where the things went in. Mm-hmm. You fools! I'm gonna fly, you fool. quickly sling the weapon fly, and see if I can head over and stabilize Velvet. Okay. A medicine check. Medicine check, please. Uh, let's grab advantage on this. Sure. Mind because me. I'm probably not gonna be able to do it. Well, it's not a one. You know where the blood goes, though, right? Yep, oh. that's an eight total on that one. Okay, so eight does not do it. That's a no. So unfortunately, in the, the heat, the fire, the chaos, the violence, and Theodore is just kind of like holding <laughs> the <blood. laughs> it's, di- it's difficult to make a good sort of, mm. you know, stabilization. Where is the blood coming from? It's coming from everywhere. Oh, God, oh, God. <laughs> uh, Gabriel, be you're back that? up. Uh, I can't save them all. You're gonna have to <laughs> choose, um, choose your fate. Choose your oh boy, this is the worst. Charges in to save Marshall Erzatz. No, <laughs> he doesn't have grenades anymore. So oh, that's fair. That's <laughs> that is your character to a T. <laughs> um, hmm. Uh, his use is gone. Damn. I need you alive. <laughs> that that feels unfortunately. Comforting. <laughs> unfortunately, okay, Theodore, just run uh, in a direction of Okerland, just over the bridge, just, just like running. so, heading towards Okerland. Okay, right. with but with Velvet's before body. Before that, uh, I will. <sighs> Crap! This is the worst. Um, That's not the worst yet. Yeah, <laughs> I. There are things that are worse. Don't worry. Who's Sean Bean? You may or may not meet the crap. I'm Sean Bean. Bean. Uh, oh no! <laughs> no one else in your party is Sean Bean. That means you're Sean Bean. Uh, if you were Sean Bean, you would have died in like the second episode. That's true. Yeah. No, no, no. That. See, we just met Bora. Oh. <laughs> no. It, it happened. No, after. no. We're talking about Game of Thrones timeline. Oh yeah. Uh, or, or better yet, Gold Knight. Okay. Okay. I, uh, that come this will be. This will be spoilers. The rest of of me I'm saving second. you guys. How about today? Equilibrium? That's pretty early. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, tug. I'm gonna walk towards uh, Gabriel. Oh, uh, sorry, Gabriel. Theodore. Theodore. Yeah. Before he runs away, change my mind. Sorry, a uh, little automaton. Tug on uh, Velvet's tail and cast cure wounds on her. Okay. Uh, healing her for sorry, only. Six. Whatever. Better than dead. Yep. Better than dead. Exactly. Considerably superior. Seven, seven hit points. Seven hit points. So you're good. Uh, you lose all your fails. Yep. And your set in your successes. In your successes. <laughs> then I will step away. Comes and goes. About five feet. Uh, so ten feet away from this creature. Okay. And then I'm gonna. Does Theodore come with? Mm, no. Uh. Do I see the vest with grenades? No. You see where it went in, though. Is it consumed by the fire? It's hard to tell. This thing is essentially a mass of pure writhing right. flame. It could be in there for all you know, or it could have oh. been disintegrated. Hey, who knows? Okay. 
Um, yeah. Um, then Theodore will drop Velvet and pick up another rock and chalks of the settlement. Okay. Take D6 falling damage. <laughs> uh, it's, it's like... It's not 10 feet. Uh, it's a matter of... It's, it's, it's uncomfortable. So, but. It's uncomfortable for you, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's gonna be. 17. You're gonna have a bruise roughly like the one that. Oh. You have. Oh. 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 Seventeen to hit. I think that'd be like so minus hits. three on all. Yeah. Oh, all oh wait, this is checks. Uh, nine bludgeoning. Uh, two. Nine bludgeoning. Keep it, keep it okay. Disadvantage. It's and special. then I I want minus him five. to position himself sort of like between Act me right. and this fire creature. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Acting as Just a kind like, of a makeshift yeah. barrier. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Let's see here. Uh, it's Marshall Airsats' turn. So Air Sets Fix this. actively, like, Please. part of his uniform sure. is on fire. Like, mm-hmm. you see him sort of clutching down. You had 12 of those grenades and you f***ed it up. <laughs> so you you uh, see him, he kind of sort of looks, sort of surveys the situation as this creature is, is looming over, sees that a lot of you are, like, beginning some kind of tactical retreat. Mm-hmm. All that's out of the way. Um, you're, you know, you have begun to move back. You are going to move back. You see him, um, he actually staggers to his feet, and you see him actively start to walk into the fire creature. Oh, Don't be a hero! Oh, boy. A couple of seconds pass by, you hear the, you hear clear, like, anguish and, and, and screaming, as you can tell that he's being sort of roasted alive. And then, you hear what sounds like a very low... I need all of you to make dexterity. Would be you can make one with advantage because Theodore nice. is in your way. That's wonderful. How about Theodore? <laughs> Theodore is going to have to do a regular old. Alrighty, okay. let's. See. Fourteen again. Twenty-two again. Hey. Okay. <sighs> oh, it's going to oh, be an eight again. I'm at advantage. You are at advantage. Theodore's I forgot. Not. Because my leg is broken, I'm at disadvantage. So that's an even three. Nice. Yep. Well, it's actually six, but you know. What about Theodore? He's fine. <laughs> He's fine. That's nineteen for Theodore. So Theodore Just... steps out of the way. Yeah. The flame <laughs> yeah. yeah. You hear this Wonderful. low, bassy sort of noise, yep. and you see before you there is what sounds like almost like a sonic boom. Oh, that's not good. You see this creature essentially erupt into tatters and sort of extinguishes itself in a uh, uh, shooting of smoke and and bits of ember and flame. Um, The creature is destroyed. You don't see a martial air sets anywhere. Looks like he was obliterated in the blast. But no body. You. So the lot of you are able to very quickly, after you hear that noise, sort of leap out of the way, try to guard yourselves. Um, You uh, end up... um, you end up clearing essentially sort of the blast radius. Unfortunately, the blast knocks Theodore backwards so hard that he basically slams into you. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Theodore projectile. So only three bludgeoning damage. Woo-hoo. Thankfully, he's a he's a lightweight. <laughs> he's a lightweight creature. Yeah. Um, and the two of you are sort of like blasted backwards about ten feet. Um, behind the wreckage of of the carriage, with his sort of admittedly still heavy body sort of on top of you. Lightweight heavy body. (laughs) Well, I mean, you can pick an alloy that's relatively light. I'll tell him to get off me. So he, you know, puts his arms up, sort of like twists himself offward. And then I will lift myself up. You see that it looks like the detonation of those grenades, the sort of force blast, has almost has extinguished a good portion mm-hmm. of, like, the nearby buildings there, are actually... Mm-hmm. Um, they the look concussive. still structurally bad, but the concussive blast seems to have knocked out some of the fires. Are the, like... Did it... Uh, it was, like, a <laughs> vibration? Did the uh, glass in the nearby houses, ex- like, shook and they, shatter? What was already broken was still broken, but there were a couple of panes like, that looked like they shattered. Yeah, it looks like... For for your your assumption is that this was some kind of like force blast right. essentially. Well, that was fun. Are the horses still alive? Yeah, I'm gonna go check on 
the horses, see if we can at least free them. No, the horses are still alive, but one of them has a clearly busted leg. Okay. So it's dead. Free? I mean, by... Effectively. They're our By, like... um, Do you know how to ride a horse? Uh... Oh, Animal, Animal Farm? Farm? No. no um, the, the, race, the race book. No. no, I was thinking about the <clears throat> the book where the, the the they have to kill the dog. Old oh, Old Yeller. Yeller. Yeah. I was actually thinking of something else, but Old Yeller's fine. Where the Red Fried grows? That's it. That's oh, the, the Red Fried. Right. Okay. You yeah. have the, the 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 horses in where the red fern grows territory. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, but the other one seems to be okay, but that horse is essentially on top of him, right? Hmm. Actually, making it difficult for him to get up. Head over there and try to separate the two horses. So you can cut the traces get... on them. Yeah. FYI, don't dance towards the fire elemental. Just like... having a lot of unsolicited <laughs> advice. This, right. This, exactly. This session. This is, this is the unsolicited would, advice. Would you rather the fire mm-hmm. elemental have hugged you? Mm-hmm. Because you do realize she took that for you, for all of us. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Sure. But mm-hmm. I have you know Theodore, and he can take that. All right, just and not uh, die. I, I'm gonna go focus on the horses now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to look at the cindered remains of my two scarves. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're basically oh, nude now. My scarves. <laughs> now you're actually you feeling a little breezy. No, oh, no. <laughs> sorry for it's kind of singed, mm-hmm. but it still works. Yeah, I'm gonna look at the two of you. Either one of you know how to handle a horse, as I'm like. Trying to help one horse off and then oh, yeah. the reins. Absolutely. Levitate horse, the spell? <laughs> oh, like back up? No. <laughs> no, I, I can help him up, but if I don't know how to handle a horse. Honestly, if, you the, know th- how if the three of you work together, I mean, it's a, yeah. it's a done deal. You just have to take okay. the time. Right. So by three of All us, of you, you mean the two of us and Theodore? Theodore? Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I will guide you guys. Legs should be on the bottom. And the- <laughs> The best middle manager. <laughs> the tail of the back, you put, you know, and the head towards where we want to go. <laughs> Just slap it. It'll and go. This guy is your partner. <laughs> not, not really. Not, not that. Way. We're almost definitely best not friends. in that way. <laughs> We're almost best friends. <laughs> no, we have some business to do. Just he doesn't have many friends. Uh-huh. <laughs> that that is just so surprising. Uh, I know. It's surprising <laughs> to me as well. That's in the territory where you say, "We've decided to find it charming." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah a, Sounds good to me. Get the injured horse mm-hmm. off of this horse. <clears throat> I. Free both of them to the best of their abilities? Free? No, 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 no. The card. We're going to Oakland, right? One of them's not going to be able to... No, no, no. Well, yeah. One can go free. Yeah. The one that was that's almost dead. But the mm-hmm. other one, we need to ride the card. We can go slow, but that's... Sure, all right. We'll give it a try. Mm-hmm. You ready to uh, flip this card over? I'm I'm guiding the mm-hmm. the, the card mm-hmm. and the Theodore can help you. Mm-hmm. Might yeah. might be a little too heavy for us. Yeah. <laughs> Fine, I'll take a horse. <laughs> just just that moment where you like look at the weapon. Look oh, back oh, at oh him. I'm not there. <laughs> yeah. Th- thinking, could we still control Theodore? Yeah. If he were not that? <laughs> Damn it, we have to keep it. <laughs> Theodore is useful. <laughs> I appreciate Theodore. I do. Okay. Theodore is our friend. So the three of you are doing your best trying to separate this. This horse with a broken leg mm-hmm. from the, the clearly still intact one, trying to do your best to sort of at least free them from the traces and make sure that they're okay, so at least you can get all on the one horse mm-hmm. and make your way down into Oakland. Cut to uh, Laris and Caraca and Sandy uh, as you are making your way out of Popsboro. Oh, just a quick thing. I wish I can I be in the middle of two foxes so it will be a fox sandwich? 
I'm walking. Look, whatever, <laughs> you're, <laughs> man, whatever you're fed in. <laughs> Immediately, Kyoko's like, nope, walking. Nope. Done. The moment you're like, can I be in the middle? I'm like, I'll walk. <laughs> and I just like, nope. And take off. Oh, nice. <laughs> just as I, just as I planned. <laughs> Is anybody here actually trained to ride a horse? Because I, I do not have what is it like land vehicles or whatever uh, technically horses fall under. Yeah, I mean, land vehicles. I, I think I am, either. but I'm not very really much good. Or animal handling would be the other. Animal approach. handling. That's I right. have neither, so I, I'm assuming. Yeah, land vehicles. Yeah. No, I don't really this, horse. This is a western. Mm-hmm. Like, imagine you, you know, know how to ride. Yeah, imagine like driving a car. Like you have to know. A trained horse. A trained horse. That's if, a fair point. If, if yeah. they're a little finicky. I mean, a they, wild horse. Obviously, that's a different right, question. Right, right. Even like bareback, they might they might kick you off a little bit. Yeah. Is there more coffee? No, I I I sorry. If you're making a second pot, sure. Yeah, I would have more if there was some there. <laughs> So, the three of you are beginning to push your way out Thank of Poxborough. You. You're beginning to see sort of the vast stretch of desert, uh, the various sort of uh, spiny uh, plants and small ridges and everything that are out in the distance as you're pushing through. Uh, you see that there is a sort of a, a considerably tall sort of, sort of stone wall that is sort of circling around. Lama Ra's. Mm. Yeah, that's the the wall. I mean, you're you're familiar with that already. There's a kind of like a. It's clearly meant. It's high enough to essentially keep out like maybe sandstorms to try to minimize the effect of that on the outer edges of the city. But it's not meant to be like the Great Wall of China or anything. It's not going to repel an invasion exactly. All right, it's not going to keep out caravans. Siege. Of, right. Of, 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 it's not. It's not, a, not a wall to prevent sieges. It's a wall that to, for convenience and. I was going to say, going to say caravans of refugees coming up from the southern border. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, well, too <laughs> soon. So, oh, it's, uh, don't worry. It's a wall of vanity. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. It's like, oh. So the three of you make your way to, you can kind of see this make the wall in front of you. Forward. It's kind of, because of the way that it's built and kind of like a, a sort of a Pueblo style, it is difficult to find sort of proper handholds. For okay. It's sort of brick that's been sort of smoothed over and everything. So we're not we're not near a gate at this point. We're going to have to get over the wall. No. Okay. You f- you remember that the only sort of proper entrance to the city is sort of the main uh, gate. Hand me a rope. Mm-hmm. I'll take it up. At least in terms of pedestrian traffic. So I just take a rope up and okay. tie it. Yeah, and I can I can just climb because I have a climb speed. Okay. So I just go up and tie it off. Well, you've got, thankfully, you've got the claws. So you're kind of digging into the, the wall as well. Okay, so you make your way up. You're on the, the lip of the wall. So you've got, what, you've got part of the rope and you've thrown it down for everyone else? Are you trying to tie it off? Or? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to try to haul them up myself. I'm not nearly strong enough to get Karaka up there. Well, this is the kind it. of wall that is essentially sort of like flat on each side. So oh, there's I nothing see. really to tie, tie it, it to. Tie it to. Even those little wooden, wooden kind of sticky-outy things that yeah. you see in Spanish architecture? Okay. Yeah. Um, um, all right. Uh, nothing to tie it to? Holy crap. Okay. Um, You're somewhat heavy, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll probably weigh 15 You could pounds. conceivably get off on the other side of the wall and kind of use your weight and sort of the... The friction. curvature of the yeah, wall of yeah. friction to kind of I can try, that I'll doesn't that. you know break the rope. Yeah. Yeah, you could use that as a kind of a pulley okay. yeah. in a way. How tall is the wall? Uh we're looking at about probably only four or five. Like at least ten feet. I was gonna say about twelve feet. Oh, yeah. So a fifty foot rope is easy can be that for that. siege protection. So on the other side of the wall, there's also nothing to tie it off on, like a tree or anything like that. What's that? It's on the yeah, other yeah, side of the wall? No, also it's also... Oh, well, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to use my weight to counter. keep it stable, you'd have to... Actually, well. have Laris climb over first, and then the two of us can counterweight for Karaka and... That's fine. Yeah. And your brother. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll go over first. So you will need to do a climb check. Okay. That's athletics? Yes. So you've got a Can fox I do it with advantage and a, a bag of grain. <laughs> you have to get both of them across <laughs> the <road. laughs> Can I do it with advantage because of the rope or not? I'm going to, I'm going to yes. try to like help you like in that little bit and give you guidance. 
Okay. Can you get to roll an extra d4? An extra d4? Fantastic. Thanks. You know that little, little... Oh, like a, like a butt pat. <laughs> 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 get in there, Chief. <laughs> 17, 22. Okay, yeah, no problem. You're, you're able to go shimmy out the road. How many times per day can you cast your uh, D8 guidance? I've got three times. Three times, times this day. color thing? Yeah. Yes, color. I mean, so I've got, I've got. It's not. It's not just that. It, it, it's all of my gambits. Mm-hmm. I've got three. So, Laris, you see uh, as you Can sort of you're, you're mounting something. the wall, right? You come up alongside. Um, you come up alongside that person's name, Sandy, um, and you see as you sort of mount the wall. You see in the distance. There's this sort of plume of dust, and riding forward towards the city, um, one figure on horseback, and then a, a series of what looks like about twenty other figures on these um, these large sort of. Uh, they're almost like think about tauntauns from Star Wars, yeah. but not furry. They're clearly scaled, and you know. Um, okay. Dinosaurs. Ostriches? These these creatures here, they're like like dinosaur ostrich kind of things, right? They've got you know long necks and they've got the legs and no like no arms basically. They're just sort of rushing forward. Um, oh, and, you told me this is a Deus Ex Machina. And <laughs> on top of them um, are clearly what look like uh, more of it sounds the, like the creatures running away from well, the T Rex. They look Rex like these sort of lizard like creatures of a kind of a fire red hue on the horse. Riding forward is this humanoid but lizard like figure with these tall flame like ridges that sort of look like ears, basically. Mm. Um, an orange brown complexion, uh, wearing these, these robes that are colored like, like lapis lazuli. Ooh. You see, ho- he's holding in one hand what looks like a, like a black rod of some kind and is sort of gesturing forward, and a lot of them are riding at full speed towards the city. I don't think this is the Deus Ex Machina I was hoping for. <laughs> They've taken their land back. Liam? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's got, yeah, I mean... Is he still with me? Did you want him to talk? Get because, up yeah. here. Mm-hmm. Take that cloth out of his mouth. Mm-hmm. I guess I'll try. Okay, the two of us aren't going Are you just going to leave Liam there inside? No, I'm going to carry him. He's on his back, right? All right, well then, I'll, I'll lead an athletics check. But you'll be at disadvantage because you're carrying this guy. Like he's going to run away. We well, have a, you know, I'm not going to leave him to die either. You guiding yourself? Yeah. Can, oh, okay. Like, like, I'm, I'm sort of a, a quick pep talk. You can do this, but this is the classic. You know, <laughs> yeah. All this fails, you can tie the rope around Liam and we'll pull him up. It's not a big deal. No, my idea was just to throw him over. <laughs> <laughs> That's a heck of a toss. <laughs> I, can, I can hear the Wilhelm scream as he falls over the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Athletics? Yes. Twelve. Twelve is good enough, yeah. So it takes you a little bit of effort because you're, I mean, you're literally carrying. Doing a one-hand carry. And making your way up a sheer wall. But you make your way up, you flop... Sort of Liam kind of <laughs> over the wall with his, uh, thankfully, his broken leg still dangling the inside of the city. Um, and you get up on top of the wall. Um, you see Liam <coughs> as he lands sort of like chest first on this wall. Pull the rag out of his mouth. All right. Kind of pull. Are we on the other side of the wall now? No, I've, you guys are still, still on, on top. top. Okay, yeah. so I'll kind of like hoist Liam up. Ah, fuck. Ah. Who are they? You see him sort of peer in into the distance. You, you mean those, those guys are, are riding this way, not the ones. Oh no, I mean the sand next to them. Hey, of course, you. I mean that. All right. What are they, and what are that? Talk. Have I mentioned how much this fucking hurts? Have I have I said that? Because it's sort of interfering with my I'm perception come, here. Might have come up once or twice. I didn't that hear most is, of it. Uh, that stuffed. is his fucking majesty Viber. Uh, and it looks like some of his people. And God they are it. coming in to uh, uh, presumably finish the job that uh, uh, Daddy started. So uh, we're probably fucked. How do you stop him? Call him Daddy. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> All right. 
Oh, you! I I, I, awesome. I did miss that can do spirit of yours, Lee. Um, I'll just slowly lean into one of his legs with my arm. How do we stop him? Well, you leave. That's it. No, I'm not sure. There are. Look, we. Unless your friend here is 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 uh, fucking God himself, I don't think we're gonna have a good time going against uh, twenty people and what is presumably a fucking sorcerer. Okay, so let's just think about this. <coughs> can you get can you get off, please? Yeah. Pressure anyway. helps keep the wound, <laughs> keep the blood flow. Down, keeps the <laughs> swelling down. Not certain Good types of wounds. Yeah, thanks, Doc. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Doc. <laughs> Especially internal. Look, they, they are headed this way. They are on full gallop. They're going to be here in it's a matter of minutes. Different. We have a little bit of time to get as far away from this city as possible and save our own necks and live to fight another day. You heard that phrase before, perhaps? <sighs> I ain't saying it's a good idea. I'm saying it's the idea we got. We should at least regroup before we try to save things. Fine, you're coming with us, and I'll like. I assume. Oh, I assume so. <laughs> All right. I don't know. The wall. He said your daddy and him, so maybe we're we not... could leave him with them, and he'd don't... be perfectly fine. Hey, oh. whoa, 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 hey, hey, hey! No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not with them. All right. You made it sound like you were. Yeah, because if I'm if I'm there in the city and I'm just like, oh, I'm not here to deal with the the master plan that literally everyone I know is convinced is the best plan in the world, then yeah, they'll probably string me up on a lamppost somewhere. Well, you weren't exactly trying to blend in with that robe when we found you. Yeah, that's what the robe was for, so it looked like I was in on the thing. You, you were mean, lighting buildings on fire. Yeah, it was. It's a very effective ruse if I burn a fucking building down. <laughs> Touche. There is no ruse at that point. <laughs> Father came to warn me. It's is this his complicit. plan that he's trying to pull off? Yes. This is uh, the old conflagration that he's been talking about for the last six months. He's just burning everything. It's not even just. It's not even like people like us. Yeah. Well, that's uh, that's his sort of break a uh, couple of eggs to make an omelet sort of philosophy. So. Um, Fuck it, I should have shot him. He must be an orc because he's breaking a lot of eggs. <laughs> and spirit. Is there any cover? I'm thinking if we go outside the wall, are they like riding directly for us or are they going to They're heading us? towards the city. Like you are at, so they're coming this way and you're maybe at like a 10 degree angle off to the left, you know okay. what I mean? So if you got off and then sort of made your way... Along sort of the northwest wall. or along the wall or something like that, you could sort of avoid the them coming together. Yeah. All right, let's start to do that while my brother and I bicker. <laughs> okay, so a lot of you sort of you know, we could do that get each those. other off the wall and begin to make your way where? Are you going um, around to the like other side of the city? Or are you just going straight into the frontier? Well, I'm, I'm not sure what the frontier looks like. Is it just... Flat out. Imagine, desert, imagine or... Arizona, like the, okay, so, yeah. It's... So there's there's landscape. Sure, there's, there's landscape. Not, it's not yeah, just like but... a long flat desert. No, okay. it's it's not it's not the it's the Iowa into... of deserts. Mm-hmm. It's it, it's it's yeah. it's like it's like the uh, road, road, like... roadrunner territory. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Yes. Right. So All there right. are features. There's yeah. bluffs and mesas and everything the here and, and whatnot. Yeah. All right. We're just gonna head for the. Unless anyone has an objection, I say we head for the the closest cover where we can set this guy down. And not, you know, gratuitously cause him pain. <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> okay, sounds good. But not so far away that we can't get back and help people. Sure, so, you know, within like, we'll say 120 feet. Mm-hmm. You know, okay. a considerable distance enough that, you know, with you with your cover... People have a real hard time seeing you, but you're mm-hmm. close enough that you yeah. run back. Gotcha. Jump over the wall if you had so to. So how far away are these 20 people? The 20 people led by Viber um, right now, it looks like they are about... We're talking about like 150 feet away from... Oh, they're the that close. Gate. I thought they were like half, no, a, they're, half a day away. No, they're coming. On the horizon. They're a couple. Oh, 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 oh. They'll be there shortly. 
So we could basically set up an ambush. Miles, so that, that for twenty people, people. Would be like a few hours. Pick off twenty-one. Yeah. If we Count pick off some it. of the dudes at the back there, and uh, as they, they go into the city, yeah, are they some kind of formation, or are they yes. just a rabble? Oh no, it like... looks like they are riding in formation. It looks like Viper's at the front, and then there's a sort of like, um, sort of like a not a triangular formation exactly, but like a. Clearly, chevron. clearly, there's a kind of a chevron, yeah, chevron sort of okay. kind of formation to it. Okay. Uh, so picking people off isn't really an option because their information it seems the like they're organized. Is. It seems like they're riding okay. together in formation. Okay. Purpose. Yeah. Okay. So there aren't any stragglers. Um. There's not the runt of of right. the group. Right. Um, trained professionals. So, <laughs> is the best thing to get back inside? Like, we're, are we still inside the city or are we out of it? Now? No, you guys get off. You guys are out, <clears throat> just outside the city near the wall you were heading towards the nearest um, sort of <laughs> mesa, basically. For some reason, I got my head rock out cropping. Yeah, there's a small rock out cropping nearby that you can just sort of like mm-hmm. take a quick So, do we wait till they go in and then come yeah. up behind them and try you to find our friends? For me. Like, come on, well, man. We need to go. <laughs> oh. I don't know why I just got... It was so fantasy-like. And so... Then just... Hey, Chocobos are very fantasy. Yeah, you can say yeah, even yeah. the final of the fantasy act. <laughs> All right. It's where it um, goes boo. So, somebody has to stay with him because he can't defend himself and we can't trust him. Right? So, he's your kin... Why don't you stay with him, and Karak and I will go back in and see if we can be of any more. Because, because we know the leader of the Sunstroke Creek. You still think you can find your dad? <laughs> does, so, does Liam know where dad might be? Are you asking him? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I know in him he's probably... He probably left town and and went out to some kind of. Now you, you got you got to understand. I, I I left a couple of months ago. Like I am not keyed into the details of this you plan. Left a couple of months ago, day. but you're still a part of the plan. Lighting buildings on fire. Look, I didn't say it was a foolproof plan there, bud. Planning's never been the strong point. Still seem. Can I involved. can I speak as if I am an adult, please? <laughs> perhaps. <laughs> Look. Now, knowing him, he's probably gone off to some kind of compound in the frontier. He probably left this morning, and he's left his uh, his people, of which I assume Viber was, was uh, is uh, sort of the upper upper echelon of right as to to, to do his work right to start to, to this conflagration of his. Hmm. <laughs> well, man, I don't even know. Uh, so then, does he have any safe houses? Where would he go in the frontier, out or outside the city? And is it even important to find? Probably it takes you long to find him now. We, I mean, there's only so much we can do in there. But if if we survive this, I will. I got a couple of places in mind scattered around the frontier, within uh, carriage distance of La Marasma, or at least. Uh, near the near the train tracks, anyway. I can take you there. We can find that son of a bitch. It doesn't, doesn't bother me. Right now, that seems like you're putting the uh, the old cart for the horse here. Yeah, that's All what right, I All mean. right, well, what do you think we should do? I think we that's should... That's not run away. Clearly, running away is not a plan that I have signed on for. <laughs> <laughs> what I suggest we do is lay low for right now. Let them do their business in the city, and as soon as they're gone, and I can actually move my goddamn legs again, then we can get out of here and try to deal with the situation. How many people would be letting die if we did that? <sighs> Most. Uh, what? What do you? What do you? What do you want from me? Like. <laughs> You expect you so so so. Let me. I, I never understood this about you. You, you so so so. You think that what out of the power of 
of sunshine and love and friendship and whatever, we could just gonna ride back in there and extinguish the whole goddamn city. All right. Fine. Just for now. Let's assume that Liam, Liam is on the up and up, since we don't really have a lot of other options. And is, it, is that a joke? Are you making a joke about? Well, that... pr- pretty hard for 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 Occam's Razor to be like. That's a hard assumption. I understand. Very, very great. It doesn't look good for him. But, if he's on the up and up, that means that Dad's outside of town, probably. Um, what's the best we can do? Well, I don't suggest we leave our friends in there. No, no, no. What's the best we can do? We can get our friends out and anybody else, right? Do we know where our friends are? We don't, do we? Don't. We actually didn't even... Compare notes before we he split up. Um, so find our friends, get him while he's trying to come back into town. If that's he'll probably goal. come back into town Sorry. for a sort of a victory <laughs> lap once everything's <laughs> calmed down, right? It's fine. Yeah, we need to start on evacuation. I think is probably right. the best thing. I think the evacuation is already underway. Um, as a sort of unofficial community led like right. oh shit let's go out here <laughs> kind of organization right. Right. except evacuation yeah. the, the evacuation is as orderly as it's going to get I don't think we can do anything to, to, to help that uh, alright let's go find our friends then well somebody has to stay with Liam or does he have to or could could he just Drag him along again. Look at him. Welcome <laughs> back, back. If we assume he's on the up and up, will you stop you saying that? <laughs> then there's no what, reason dragging to you keep or being up and up. Are you trying to d- dispute that you're on the up and up? No, up and up is insulting to somebody who cannot Your stand up. <laughs> <laughs> There's no, there's no point in just hurting him for, for fun. It's, you know, that's... that's that makes you You evil. haven't met very many orcs, have you? <laughs> mm-hmm. You're a half sure. orc. It doesn't even count. <laughs> and you're also a paladin. Well, what you're you better do? Do you want to stay out here? Do you want not, to come with us? Not, not really a paladin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Look, you guys want to go back into the city, be my guest. All right? I've already explained to you the most reasonable plan which is to stay out here while that whole goddamn city burns down. I'm going to check out, you know what, I'm going to rest my legs here and uh, just uh, just hang out. I mean, we could say just stay put and let the desert take care of you, but... Look, anything would be better than having to listen to these fucking, you know, <laughs> jokes or whatever, japes that you guys are throwing at me. All right, All right you have a gun, you have a way to defend yourself. Yeah, I'm Have good. Fun. Okay. Don't die. Thank you. <clears throat> Start sneaking my way back to the wall. So as you're sneaking away, what kind of spellcaster is your brother? Is he a sorcerer? Is he a what he's not like a cleric. He's not gonna heal himself, is he? I would know this, but I don't know that out of character. You you wouldn't actually. Okay. Maybe you learned after he's um You know that his magical abilities, whatever they may be, sort of developed late in your teenage years, and then later, presumably the most of his sort of growth happened, in any sort of formal way, happened while you two were were separated. I left before he developed those abilities. I'm worried he's not going to be here when we get back. All right. Well, then that means good for him, because he figured out how to move without his legs. Well, if I thought him if he was a cleric, he could heal himself and he'd be okay. If he could heal himself, he would have already done it. And probably shot us and left. <laughs> hmm. Maybe not where we could see him. See? Anyway. Alright. So, back into town. Okay. The right? Sneaky. Yeah, Is we're that what we're find thinking? Our friends, yeah. yeah. So, we're cutting back <laughs> to Kyoko and Velvet and <laughs> Gabriel. Where are you guys? You've managed to successfully extract mm-hmm. one horse from underneath the other. But only he is riding. Yep. He's 
You're just Captain Morganing it up there. <laughs> Standing on the horse with one leg, leg up. One leg up. Yeah. <laughs> on Theodore. Uh, so, um, um, I have not. I've, so, I've been Kyoko, in the mm. in the game. just out of, you know, curiosity? Everything's fine, right? Yes. Well, they're foxes, they're fine. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> How exactly would you define this as fine? I mean, the city's on fire. We're all well, injured. Uh, so things aren't great. What are just a what do you ask? A recap. About? Um, this uh, remember we met this uh, person, girl, lady, uh, divine, divine, divine. Yeah, divine. Who wanted more coffee? I, I got some. Uh, you remember she was saying something about um, you know. Some a gnome person, a lizard, maybe no. Viber, yes. magic, summoning a demon god or something in under seven days, which is now about a five day. So yeah. that's stuff that you're up helping me with it, right? Yeah, that divine helped, and that I had been looking into before I met all of you. Wonderful. Yeah. So mm-hmm. our path passes paths lead the same way. Like yeah, obvious I'm missing. That's wonderful. For, um, Our situation. <laughs> how, um, so the lead is the Okerland. Do you know any anything about like where would that uh, Viber be? Last I heard, somewhere outside of Long Rosma. Oh, outside. Yeah. Hmm. So. <clears throat> So do we Okerland, go to Okerland and just wait? Okerland checks out. Uh, from what I've heard, probably the headquarters of the Sunstroke Creed. If we're oh, looking boy. for the people responsible for this, it's a place to go. Now, granted, uh, so we just need to find a couple of those, get their cloaks, and blend in. I don't think we're going to blend in. (laughs) I'm with her. Hmm. You, maybe. Yeah. Us, not so much. The muzzle kind of gives it away. (laughs) Um, As we're going, I'm going to cast Mending, which heals um, Theodore. Theodore, yep. Okay. Um, Now, we've got a couple of other locations we could hit in Okerland. See how folks we know are doing, but at this point, I don't know why he was pointing us in this direction. Is it, Who do you know? In is it just me, or does anybody else think the city's kind of a lost cause right now, and we should just be trying to get people out? See, you're not wrong there. I, you're not wrong, but also. I don't have any places that I know, like a hideout in the middle of a desert. I wouldn't expect you to. You're much more of a city folk. Thank you. Yeah. So, yeah. But <laughs> point of pride. <laughs> <laughs> Out in the desert uh-huh. is much better than a burning city. Because you know you don't tend to burn to death. Look, in a desert uh, as much well, often yeah. as you do in a burning <laughs> Percentages are lower. Well, well it I, takes look, a little bit longer. That's, There's yeah. the Panther's Repose, which is where we met right, Divine. Right, right, right. Perhaps we stop by there, see if Divine knows anything. I would, if yes. they are there, and <clears throat> see if we can help anybody else out of the city. Because right now, with the three of us, I don't think we're capable of denting the Sunstroke Creed if we knock on their door. What was Divine's species? Uh, I think she was a human. She was just like dark skin and sh- bold. My, yes. my notes are as follows: Lady question mark. Yeah. Because not sure on that front. Oh. I knows a whole bunch of stuff. Probably a diviner, but of the calculative type. A tall, thin, androgynous figure with a long pointed nose, cheek length auburn hair, and very vibrant outlaw blue eyes. She had some sort of. Eye makeup, like reddish pink, right, right, like right. in a kind of like a Blade Runner mm-hmm. kind of streak. Black lipstick, blue line painted on the chin. 
wearing a gold kimono over a blue bodysuit and two animal teeth ornamented necklaces. Mm. And yes, very much like androgynous, looked like a gender fluid sort of. Mm-hmm. But but looked human to you. Mm. Okay. You know what I mean? Like it looked like a human okay. I'll say. Yeah. I have two words. Weirdo girl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. One Half of, those of your notes may be wrong. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, 50%. My, my perspective. I mean, that's, that's, it's yeah. good enough for Fox. You know, 48% don't want to impeach so, Trump to be um, a majority. Because yes. That's how numbers I agree work. we should go uh, to <laughs> the, the were, Panther, like Panthers Repose. The yeses check if they're still open. The majority don't, right? Uh, maybe they're... You know, because they're serving the room now. So. Right. But, um, um, I think the more take accurate stuff. term would be are there still people there? Mm. Take a rest. No, that's a good place. We're not staying there. No. I'm, no. I'm not spending more than a couple of minutes there if possible. Fine. <laughs> you, you, you do realize the city is on fire and it's only getting worse, right? Well, this street is fine. For how much longer? Let's, uh, for... let's go to the Panthers Repose. Okay. See if somebody there has a vehicle that we could either commandeer, mm. borrow, or pay for, and see if we can use that to help other people get out of the city. So, Jason, mm-hmm. pardon me for interrupting. No, no, go ahead. Um, I'm trying to figure out how we're going to find our friends. And <laughs> That's it's hard. a good and, question. And it, and it, yes, it is. Mm-hmm. And it's, since out of character I'm able to listen to their conversation, while I was in character I wouldn't can't. Mm-hmm. Um... I want to run this by you. It seems to me that the Panthers' repose would be the natural place for us to look for them because that was always our meeting place before. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, it was no, not. Not. the half cocked, the half cocked yeah, yeah, yeah. in okay. Coxboro. Yeah. He is. So I, I, Panthers' I, I, repose is a gentleman's club in, in Oakland. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, I got them confused. Um, I was thinking the half. So the half cocked would be the natural. So place. right idea, wrong, wrong place. Yeah. 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 But, but you half, do know that Foxborough ha- is pretty much burned to the ground. Right. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's there's, um, there's no way to go over there. And we knew that you guys were taking him to the the police department. Mm-hmm. Correct. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, we did. I mean, yeah, but that was the last that place was you know yeah. that they went was the, was police, the police department. department. Okay. So we could go that to the police department and kind of like mm-hmm. fan out and see what we can um, think up. The inside of town. That's in Gainesville, which is in sort of the middle strip. Can we get there, or you know, Probably when, I'm, when we're there. standing on the wall, can we? I mean, d- is Gainesville a- accessible, or are we yeah. completely cut off from it? No. Okay. All right. And that's where we'll head. It's going to be troublesome, but right. that's where we'll head. Hopefully, we'll run into them at some point. Sorry. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah, I agree that we need a better um, vehicle hmm. to run around town if we. I mean, I'm fine, but I, it seems like you might, and Theodore needs a lift. But, um, what I'm saying is, <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> just the heaviest side eyes. <laughs> sorry, but, um, if the city burns to ground, mm-hmm. we might lose all the lids to Viber, like, period. Presumably, he's coming here eventually. Okay. If if his goal was to cast some sort of spell or summon a demon, he's not just going to go running around the desert, right? Well, divine, divine or divine, 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 divine said that it will happen in seven days, right? Hmm. So, we still have time, right? Not much, but we've got time. Hmm. Also, I'm going to put um, on Theodore's uh, arm, uh, with my uh, Tinker Tools, two little um, hearts. Two, uh, okay. and I, I'll, I'm going to, hey, just make a note of two saved lives right here. Just to remind all of us. Of what? How useful your robot is? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, well, that <laughs> and that some of us are saving lives and other. Um, so, um, as Do we're you going shoot him to. Or should I? <laughs> I don't use Panther's them. Repose, right? Shall we? You can borrow one of mine. <laughs> <laughs> I. 
don't really get guns. It's not my thing. Aim, pull the trigger. It's <laughs> pretty straightforward. How long will it take us to go, get to the Panthers Repose if we're already... Well, since you're already at sort of the, the, the borderland right, between right. Okerland and Gainsey, like, it would take about 30 minutes. Okay, wonderful. I will be keeping an eye out for any functional vehicles. Ooh, we get half travel time. We do. Our travel time is And just general, Close like, if, we, if people <laughs> need, like, help, not to, like, stop and, like, help them, but if it's, like, immediate... Sure. This is a Resident Evil, guys. Mm-hmm. So, a uh, lot of you uh, make your way uh, avoiding sort of plumes of flame mm-hmm. and the occasional sort of straggling groups of evacuees. Um, uh, is it clear who does that? Making your way across sort of crumbling bridges and, and, and uh, broken crates and all manner of chaos inside the city. You can see that the once sort of prosperous district of Oakland is now essentially like it's like gold and silver sort of like actively mm. melting, you know what I mean? The Ooh. sheen of, 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 of metal turning into liquid um, over the intense heat. Um, you come across the Panther's Repose mm-hmm. and uh, the place uh, looks like it is still mostly intact. It looks like the fire hasn't quite spread to the building just yet. Um, you see, uh, strangely enough, on this sort of art deco dance hall style building, uh, at the very peak of the, uh, the sort of frontispiece, um, uh, perching there is a giant vulture. A giant one. It's a large beast, but it is called a giant vulture. vulture. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Giant vulture. It's not just an unusually big vulture, it is actually a giant. Yes. Okay. I'll squint and wave. Not that I'm there. But. <laughs> it doesn't seem to have, like, made it so... It is not aware of you yet. It's, okay. it's it. sort of... It looks like it is sort of scanning across, sort of darting its head, scanning across the skyline. Is that normal? That's not normal. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to keep the weapon up, but not point it at it, and approach the building. <laughs> I'll follow Okay. Same. So you make your way very cautiously. Uh, you, it looks like the vulture is uh, so again its neck sort of darting around, looking across the the cityscape. Uh, doesn't pay you any mind. Make your way uh, towards the front of the building. Open up both of the double doors, uh, and you see inside uh, uh, these you the 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 telltale dark blue velvet chairs all overturned Aww. stuffing and everything is, is oh, no. pouring out oh, of them man. um you see the stage on the left hand side it looks like um it looks like several of the uh, th- there's there's several like traditional sort of instruments like a drum set and everything like that have all been sort of like torn apart and oh. chucked across the stage um you see what looks like some kind of like uh Sort of a lighting rig, for lack of a better word, um, has just sort of fallen and sort of cr- cracked. It's kind of like laying diagonally on top of the uh, the stage portion. The place looks like a complete mess. Coasters, mm. the crystalline coasters broken everywhere, as a hookah overturned. And the place looks like it is a mess. In the middle of it, uh, there is an actively burning campfire. Hmm. And That's a safe point. Around this big, <laughs> oh, you wish. <laughs> and around this particular campfire is a series of uh, lizard-like individuals Aww. that you recognize. I snuff the fire. <laughs> oh, is, is it, it small? Enough? It is <laughs> small. Oh, well, they said it's a campfire. Yeah, but it's, is it it's a, a small campfire? campfire. It it's is a, a small campfire. campfire. Yeah, like, just like poof, immediately. <laughs> you do that and I look at you like <laughs> Come on, they're burning the furniture <laughs> I look at him over there. Just rack the shock <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on man. I think that's a very dramatic way to remo- announce your presence I So like the, you it. see the, the campfire There's a plume of smoke and you see all of these sort of lizard creatures whip their heads towards you You see that some of them have the same um 
uh, garb that they that the same the ones that you found at the Lavarez Police Department have, and also there are some with a sort of a what look like a sort of a deep kind of V-necked sort of robe type piece of clothing with various sort of orange sigils on it. Uh, a lot of a lot of them look at you. You see the the, the ones of the scimitars raise their weapons. And they began sort of rushing. No, 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 knock it off. Damn. No, shh, shh. no, uh, shoot. Roll initiative, please. Oh. Way to announce our presence. Why did I even take stealth? <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. Because in an ideal campaign, we use it. Yeah. I, I'm too busy cursing my luck to, to act quickly. Okay, so, Gabriel? 19. Just, mm-hmm. just, just feed. What about lizard? Yeah, uh, 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 fifteen. Yeah, that's got fifteen and Kyoko. Yeah, but you know, if it's just you know mostly dead meat, you know, it's just like yay, food. We're going places slowly. Vultures like (laughs) carrion. Fresh carrion too. Especially if it's a little toasty. Yeah, sandwichy. Yeah, a little little crispier on the edges. (laughs) Umami. (laughs) <laughs> just a moment here no problem how many of these things are there there are six creatures in total <laughs> two of whom have this sort of v-necked like robe with the orange sigils on and the rest of them look like they have scimitar and what looks like, uh, uh, like chain mail mm-hmm. um uh, chain shirt, essentially, much like the ones you fought in the LMPD. Mm. Um, they begin rushing at you. Gabriel, you're up first. Yeah. Um, the one with the fancy robe and the there are two sigils. Of them. Yeah. I'm gonna um, reach into my uh, pouch and uh, produce a vial of acid and chuck at one of them. Okay. So roll to hit. And then I, I would say, Theodore, take care of the second one. Can I, can I please re-roll that? Sure, if you want to. <laughs> that oh. never helps, you know. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Um, see this this day. This will help me. Hey! hey now. All right. That's a dex base, so that will be a 20 dirty 20. Okay, so well, 20, 20, you chuck 20. the vial. Mm-hmm. Uh, it uh, smashes on the, the body of one of these, uh, <laughs> these robed figures. Yeah. Nice. Hey, whatever. It's better than well, damage. Well, okay. S That's not what I as thought. the acid sizzles yes, on his seven. robe, he takes <laughs> three acid damage. Yeah. I know. Acid damage. I understand. Than no acid damage. <laughs> Rough roll. So. Yeah. And then Theodore we'll will run kind of poor uh, towards the second yeah, robed yeah. guy and just clanks him in the sure. yeah. in the hey, face man. for uh, uh, 17. <laughs> So was Theodore heading towards the other robe? The figure? other one, yeah. Other, I, I, said, I said the other one. Okay, cool. Uh, what'd you get? Uh, 17. That's it? Yep. Uh, that's a. Uh, 8 bludgeoning. Doom! 8 bludgeoning damage. Okay. And then I'll. I'll. Uh, I'll duck to cover to one of the booths. Okay. Whoop! <laughs> you guys, take care of the casters! Those robe guys? Yeah, they're no good. The one that's sizzling, and the other one with the Theodore's... Just, just racks the shotgun. Well, that's your talking our way out of this is no longer an option. Velvet. It's your turn. <laughs> yeah, try dancing. All right. Um, oh. How far away from me are they? <laughs> um, They're within, <laughs> like, 30 like feet. <laughs> I mean, you, you guys basically <laughs> kicked down those doors, saw the state of the place, and then your eyes actually focused. Oh, well, they're having a little powwow sort of <laughs> right in the middle of the lobby. Okay, can I get to one of the casters without provoking an attack of opportunity? Now? Yes. Okay. So I'll Well, go it's only when you leave the range, right? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So you can make it, yeah. So I'll go over to one and... The one hit by acid or the one punched by the... The punched one. <laughs> okay, sounds good. And I will attack. That is a 12. 12 is a miss. 
As you uh, you sort of what are you using? A uh, scimitar. As you strike with your scimitar, you see that there's a kind of a bounding act, a rebounding action. As you see the sort of this shimmering force sort of uh, react around the uh, the robed one. Mm. <clears throat> Not good. Anything else in your turn, Bill? Not yet. Okay. Now it is the lizardman's <clears throat> turn. So the four uh, scimitar-wielding, chain-shirted individuals rush toward. Uh, two of them actively begin attacking Theodore. Oh boy, no, please, God, no. Moments later, Theodore is dead. Yeah, yeah. So the 22. Yeah, that's, that's a hit. And a 14. Irreparable. That's a hit. Yeah, yeah nothing but the mending. No, no, So mending 11 slashing damage. Oh, are you kidding? 11 slashing damage. Okay. Oh from a first attack? It seems a little bit more or than from combat. both attacks. One of the warriors okay. attacked two times. Oh, okay. See. The other warrior is going to attack two times. Oh, time to get okay. Over. Yeah, you were a little, a little early on there. Okay. Oh, no, what's happening? <laughs> time to oh, no. Oh, boy. Please don't. Oh. The other warrior... Irreparable. Ooh. So we Ooh. have a 17 yeah, that's and then a natural 20. Yeah, oh, yeah. good heavens. Okay. Irreparable. <laughs> so that is. You may have so, so, two, so two more slashing damage. Yep. yep. We're moving on to Theodore 2. And then <laughs> we have the critical hit. Electric Boogaloo. Oh boy. Well, he goes unconscious or uh, disabled. Yeah. <laughs> that's slashing damage. This is going to get ugly. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Again, better him than you. Yeah. So another five slashing damage, and uh, the slice manages to cut open uh, some sort of fluid links in uh, in, no. uh, in Theodore's uh, body, that. and you see this is actively sort of leaking like hydraulic <laughs> fluid and uh, oil and no. stuff. So he is I mean, effectively I mean, bleeding. Okay. So he's going to lose one d four. At the start of each of your turns until well, that wound gets stopped. He's unconscious, so I don't know how that. Well, then he's going to take an automatic seconds. fail. Oh, you did. On the death saving throw. But yeah. no, he's like, he is. He's never alive, so he's just a pile of metal. Yeah, yeah but even even constructs still have death saving death throws. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Once once that fails, the spark of life that was put into them is Dead. extinguished. So you'd have to rebuild from scratch. As opposed to just being able to repair. Yeah. Right, right. Okay, yep. I see it. I see it. Okay. Yeah. Whatever magic holds that mm-hmm. spark gets damaged. Fine. So they tear <laughs> into uh, Theodore, who goes yeah. down in a flurry. Crystals flicker. Yeah. The no, other no, two Christ. warriors um, <laughs> rush Christ. forward, uh, each of them taking you and you. Okay? So Great. two attacks coming your way, uh, Kyoko. And two attacks these guys get. Mm hmm. So like that is had a 14. Six That'll miss. It's like and a had six 22. That will hit. Mm. Yeah. Five slashing damage. Okay. And then for you, Velvet, that is a natural one. Okay. Good. That one misses. I use reaction to go in to... Uh... We got tech. The other one's a 10, by the way, so I think that one misses, too. It, it misses, but... Yeah. You get to do a thing? I post. get to do a thing. Rhythmic reduction. Anytime I target it with attack, I can do a dexterity save with DC equal to the attack roll, and if I win, I it misses. Nice. Nice. But okay. I gotta keep concentration on it. Ah, uh, okay. So okay. if you get hit. Hmm. So you are activating that, essentially, right? Now. Yeah. So that's what you're concentrating on. Mm-hmm. Okay. So both of these obviously missed you. Um, so you don't need to activate. You don't need to do the deck saves right now because both of the mass trend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that only procs when you, someone attacks you and you decide to invoke that. Is that right? Yeah. Is it okay. a reaction? Right. Right. It's reaction started. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's concentration cool. for a continued okay. effect by the sound of it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Neat. Then we have our, our robed ones. Oh, no. Oh. <sighs> yep. Why doesn't my reaction just like flick that fire back and just pretend that's never <laughs> happened? Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. What was the last Too time you times. saved the game? 
Uh, you see one of these robed figures, the one who uh, yeah, yeah, where, who was hit with acid, um, stretches out his hand and 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 three fiery rays oh. shoot out of his admittedly. But well, I'm in like four fingers, is one of those uh, nice. Those rays shoot out, targeting each of you. Uh, you're going to get scorched. Natural one plus four. Woo! That's a That's five. That is a 19 plus 4 is a 23. So that's you. Let's see. I'm going to use advantage on this. Okay. 18, 17. You've got a chance. Uh, what did you say it was? 23. It's 19 plus 4, which is 23. Oh. oh. Just oh I thought it was just 19. Oh, crap. So you take. Eight fire damage. Shit. I'm down again. Oh, grab a gun for you. Mm-hmm. Natural one. <laughs> wow, it's feast and famine over here. <laughs> so, all right. Is there. Do you guys are actively trying to kill me. <laughs> no, is there any chance that in, our, out of this in fire heading again. towards the police station, we just happen to pass this way? Yeah, I mean, but, I, don't, I don't know the But don't I'll worry. I, I'm no. getting the hell Going out of here. <laughs> from Poxboro, which is. So, Poxboro. Cold Crest and then Gainsey, uh, Hunbrook, Okerland, I think so. Okay. You're basically, so yeah, there's no way that you can no see your life. Do yeah. you have a healing potion by any chance? No. Hmm. Not made of money, unfortunately. The other figure, um, who was uh, punched by Theodore, <laughs> looking real rough, <laughs> he forms what looks like a moat of fire and then shoots it at you. Oh, boy. Congratulations. At least it's not a fireball. It's a 17 to hit you. That will hit. Mm. You take... Let's see here. Two fire damage. Oh. That could have been worse. (laughs) Definitely, but it's not good. He rolled a D10. Mm. (laughs) Now it is your turn, Kyok. Your spell won't find a score, so it's just the dice. In this moment... It's not too bad. Kyoka kind of laser focuses on Velvet uh, as a bonus action. I'm going to perform a Zephyr Strike, but instead of actually attacking, I'm just going to move over, pick you up, and then try to book it out of the building. So Zephyr Strike for duration. Your movement does not provoke attacks of opportunity. Before spell ends, lasts up to a minute concentration. You can give yourself an advantage on one attack roll. I uh, and yeah, hit or miss, your walk speed increases until the end of that turn. So, picking you up first, and then trying to get to the door, and that'll be my turn. Okay, sounds good. So you're able to pick up Zephyr Strike, whoosh, rush towards the door. Yeah, you're able to make your way. Basically, you're in sort of the doorway at this point and can okay. make your way out. Uh, let's see here. Go. Now we're back up to Gabriel. Yeah. <laughs> now thinking, maybe that like all fun so and Theodore. Clang, 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 yeah, clang. No, no way of saving that. Uh, no hard feelings. Ted, maybe like 2.0 will be better. I'm out of there. <laughs> I'm, uh, um... I wasn't like too far in this place, so I'll sure, just yeah. walk out. Uh... Very casually to the door, and then as the door just like swings, I'm just booking it. Okay. <laughs> just like <laughs> closer to my horse, sure. Untie and then mount and ready to. Sure. Okay. Sounds good. Good stuff. Oh, Kyoko and uh, your dead friend, uh, you can come hop on the horse and just. You know. Velvet. Speaking of which, <laughs> make a death save for him. Now we are out of good fortune oh. on the table. Oh. Roll again. Carpet, carpet, carpet ones. Get a, get a mulligan. It's a ten. It's good. It's good. Nice. 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 One success. Yep. Ten? Yeah. yeah. Death yeah. saving throws are the weird one where they give you a oh. slight advantage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ten like 55%? Yeah. yeah. 55. Ooh. So you are slightly more likely to stabilize. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ah, it is the, uh, the lizard ones. Turns now. Yes, thank you, Leah. <laughs> so you run out, you mm-hmm. mount your horse, a lot of you are heading down into the street. Mm-hmm. You see the double doors burst open and those 
uh, warriors with their scimitars are rushing towards you. You see, um, you hear what, well, you hear what sounds like a sort of kind of a cry. Um, Mm. And you see swooping down in front of them with its large wingspan is uh, that same giant vulture that was perched on top of the building. You see, with its wingspan creating this sort of heavy wind, you see that it's sort of pushing the uh, the it's not. the creatures back. They're sort of like they're they're shielding themselves, cool. and getting pushed back towards the door. And then you see out of the giant vultures, sort of you see it sort of the giant vulture, the image of it, sort of like distort for a second. And you see, forming out of the giant vulture's sort of matter, is uh, a androgynous figure uh-huh. in oh a in a, in a gold kimono and a blue. Yeah, you knew so. Mm-hmm. so it looks quite a lot like, at least from the back, it looks like divine. Then you see her sort of spread her her hands She's wide, and this sheet of fire shoots up. Um, nice. um, Creating this sort of wall, and you can see that the the um, even the uh, the lizard people are sort of like backing away from it, unable to sort of penetrate this this barrier. Um, you see her turn to the to the line of you, and uh, she um, kills kills you <laughs> <laughs> with a look of love. Yeah. <laughs> you see her turn and. What are you doing here? Uh, we just came by to... Honestly looking for you and survivors. That. Yeah. But we're good to go. I happen to be both. There is actually parts in that store that I would like to acquire if that's... <laughs> you can ignore it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get out now. I this... thought we can... We, we just have some information and we want we wanted to trade the information maybe with you maybe you know a little more than we well, do I have to be very quick because I'm concentrating on oh yeah yeah, yeah. we're mm-hmm. we're still looking for Viber and like where can we find him or her by any chance how much time we have oh yeah the city is on fire I'm sure you know that already so actively <laughs> <a wall of laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah I gathered that <laughs> I think you'll find Gabriel that this city is done for, at least for now. And Viber, he's already here. Oh, that's wonderful. In fact, I think he's about 25 feet outside of the gates. That's wonderful. That's a do you conservative happen, estimate. Do you happen to have a, a vehicle that we can use? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's worth a shot. Um, I, can get us, I can get us out of here, but you have to trust me. Done. <laughs> that was alarmingly fast. <laughs> what about the rest of him? You're free to drop him at any point. In time. <laughs> and I'm just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Looks at you, expect. Oh yes. Yeah. I, well, can the, can we'll you, need a quick moment to make sure she doesn't bleed out. Yeah. And can you transport Sparkle Mane? Oh my God. Oops. My my horse. I, I named it the Sparkle Mane. Yeah. Is it my little pony? I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> oh. Mm. That should, that should be butt stallion. Mm-hmm. I, butt stallion. Butt stallion. <laughs> I'll, I'll pet the horse and say, I'm sorry, we have to leave you. And I leave her next to the bucket of water or something they have near the dispensary <laughs> place. So you see, Untied. So you see her very quickly sort of pulse the wall of fire and it sort of begins to move farther into the building, pushing those uh, creatures back. Then you see her very quickly drop the spell. The wall goes down, but still uh, the the lizard people inside sort of recoiling from it. She very quickly turns around to the lot of you and sort of grabs hold of you, asking, you know, in a gesture that's like, please make a circle. (laughs) Single Um, tear for Theodore. (laughs) And you all find yourselves transmogrified into giant vultures. Ooh! (laughs) I'm going to flop my wings. She takes off into the air, heading outward, without even a second look Mm -hmm. at you, expecting you 
to fall. To fall. To fall. And I'm still dead on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just pick you up. You'll, yeah. be, you'll be fine. Ooh. I will. I will. How do these? How do I these start walking? walking? Good enough. Actually, the target assumes the hit points of its new form. Oh, nice. Oh. Well, so nice. as soon yeah. as it drops, though, yeah. you are back to making sure you're stable. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so suddenly you regain consciousness <laughs> in the body a- of a as giant. A vulture. <laughs> I look around and I'm just like, fine, fine. And I look this at you. This is fine. I'm a vulture. Caw. And I know exactly that it's you. <laughs> well, yeah. Just, it, it's got like a oh like a, a scarf, <laughs> hat. <laughs> <laughs> Looks oddly foppish. <laughs> oh, and I take best. off. So a lot of you begin flying after <laughs> Divine in her vulture form and soaring out of the awesome. city. Going to be keeping an eye on the city below sure. for yeah. anybody I happen to know. I oh, wonder if they happen should, to see us. Should the odds oh, be in our yeah. favor or not? Yeah. You see, as you're flying off, you you feel and hear sort of so it seems like motes of fire sort of shooting out past you as you see that the uh, the lizard people poured out of the claw. panther's repose and are actively sort of attacking you, trying your best to knock you out of there, but you've gotten too much distance, too much height. That was a good place. Cutting back, mm-hmm. uh, Laris, yeah. Haraka, and Sandy. our friend Sandy. So you guys are heading towards, if I remember correctly, you're heading to the La Marasma Police Department. We were. Because that was the last place... You knew that your friends were going. Yes. That's yep. right. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, when I can safe, when I can, can with relative safety, I'm doing this as high as I can go. Yeah. Just so that I can keep an eye out for our friends. Sure, yeah. So you're all on rooftops that are safe. Yeah. Well, yeah. Otherwise, I'm on the ground, but... I'm not running through fire or anything. <laughs> okay, actually give me a perception check. Okay. <clears throat> the two of you are making your way down to sort of the streets heading towards... You've managed to go... You've hit the sort of top end of Poxbro and are now way, making your way across the border into Gainesy. Okay. Into the security district. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. So you're running along... The, you're having to sort of hop sort of diagonally and make sort of... Ex- ex- Exceedingly long jumps because there there are buildings that have already collapsed yeah. or, or areas that are actively on fire, which mm-hmm. you don't want to land on. No, I'm not taking rash risks. Sure. Just... Yeah. You find as you are padding across the rooftops that you see a strange sight. All of a sudden, you actually see two strange sights. First, your eye is caught by a series of five giant. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Giant vultures soaring in the air, heading out towards the frontier. Okay. In what seems like a rough group. Okay. Not in formation exactly. Okay. Um, and that is unusual because yeah. any vultures that you would, you're familiar with and sort of La Marasma, occasionally you get them, and mm-hmm. the Waltic and countryside are not that big. Right. Mm. So, additionally, you see what looks like. Uh, a, a thick sort of a column of smoke mm-hmm. uh, in the uh, area of Coldcrest, along okay. the, yeah, at the far end of the far end of the city. Okay, um, is it's twisting up and out. It's a pretty thick mm-hmm. column, and you see that that column is actively moving through the district. It's yeah, oh, through Coldcrest. Coldcrest, yeah. Some, Which is far from us, right? Cold well, Crest is like on the other side. Since of the you're world in Gaines, going. since you're almost in Gainesy, it's like the next district over. Okay. So just to is remind it coming you, towards us? Is that what? If I'm getting that this correct? Oh, this is the one that doesn't work. Okay. So I don't know why it's the one. So Pox, Cold, Gainesy, Hun, and. Okay. Okay. Right. okay. So, so what you're seeing is this figure moving through Coldcrest as you guys are making your way oh, over here. Okay. Yeah. Um, and which way are the vultures flying? The vultures, previous, they are flying in what looks like a sort of a 
northwest direction. Okay. Flying over the Poxboro area. I'm trying to figure out if there's any way I could have a reason to gain, try, try to get the attention of those vultures, and I can't think of an in-character reason that I would do so. You notice one of them has a scarf on the top it. If that's no, the case, it's <laughs> <laughs> hmm. right, the foppest <laughs> vulture I've ever seen. I look at one of the vultures and I immediately want to punch him. <laughs> Gabriel! Gabriel. <laughs> it's like just guts feeling. It's like, oh yeah, that's yeah. the one. For some reason, I want to punch that vulture. Roll inside. Yep. It's somehow <laughs> provoking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> For the record, I like G quite a bit. Any chance that with their vulture eyes they happen to spot me? Sure. Now that you're up on the roof and everything, yeah, yeah. that's clear. Why don't you guys make perception checks, please? Woo! Let's, did they get advantage since they're vultures? Yes, actually. When, because you're in your they vulture might form, they might I think that's fair. They you're might above have the a city. Keen eye tag. Yeah. No. 18. No. 21. Nice. As I'm flying, I'm wiggling my uh, foot. Because of, that still hurts. <laughs> okay, so so Velvet, you and Kyoko in your in your vulture forms spy what looks like a very familiar tabaxi on top of a roof that is like I spy a in a district that is actively burning. Like that's unusual. Hmm. Uh, this this figure is is basically like the size of an ant or a, you know a pinprick essentially, but mm-hmm. you can see like there's, there's a, a tail, tail and yeah. Kind yeah, of see got the telescope ears. ears. Right, right. And it's yeah, going to look at Yeah. It's going to do one of those, like, peel off from the groups and start heading down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That where it's like, it looks like it's heading right at you. So you yeah. see yeah. this Talents giant for, vulture. You know, Talents Talents peel off from the group and it's heading I'm towards you. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, no way to kill the bird. giant vulture. <laughs> it's come to you see two of them, actually. Yeah. You like, guys, on the ground. You guys were initially coming toward, you look back towards where you knew yeah. um, uh, uh, Sandy was, and you see these two giant vultures <laughs> basically dive-bombing <laughs> towards yep. towards the roof. <laughs> I'm good. Come down from the roof. Okay. Giant vultures coming. <laughs> Giant vultures. Usually I prey on the birds. Giant vultures coming. This is sort of yeah. This is upended. Like now, now the birds are hunting the cat. Uh-huh. I like. It's not gonna do anything if I shoot it. In the wings. And suddenly I get the idea that maybe this wasn't the best idea. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. yeah. Gonna I, like, land on the roof and then do like a like. The head slowly poking <laughs> over the edge, <laughs> and then just like stare down at the three of you for a moment. Caw. <laughs> where is? The, it's like, you where don't. Is you, you don't call. You just say call in common. <laughs> call. <laughs> no. Where's, oh, where's just divine uh, flying? Divine. It looks like it's still heading in sort of the a northwestern direction over Poxborough and out of the city. Can I do a real quick flyby? near her, kind of like build up speed, fly by, and then kind of like turn around to point that they are... Sure, get her Yeah, yeah, yeah get her attention that... Yeah, you see so you soar by, you see her sort of like hover mm-hmm. in the air for a bit, and then the two of you kind of seem to understand each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just she follows you. Thank you. So, just, can, can I land on the ground and kind of right in the dirt with my talon? You could do, you could do like a dance. <laughs> Hey, there you go. Uh-huh. Well, a bird uh, wouldn't dance. That's a fair <laughs> point. As a giant vulture, you <laughs> have. So your intelligence is still the same, mm-hmm. right? So yeah, you could you could hop down with a talon, like okay. So it's scratch out. The vulture starts riding in. The so one of the, the vulture yeah. comes down from it's the so roof in front of you. Like, just like confused. And what do you do? Scratch. Velvet and Yoko. And Yoko Ono? Kyoko. <laughs> Kyoko. <laughs> and I kind of beat my head towards the other one. Car! Car! Sounds like murder. This is not the weirdest thing I've seen. There's only two of us. At least three. <laughs> okay. Put my revolver away and. Right. Like... You know where Velvet and Kyoko are? I draw a little <laughs> arrow under velvet I, pointing to me. Oh. Are we like large sized creatures? You're large. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You ate yeah, velvet? I, I, I'm going to try to hang my head. I, I'm going to like <laughs> swoop right. down and perch on Sandy's shoulders. What? I'm like, you like, you like twice what I do? 
That's hmm? like medium sized like creatures, when I do, right? Isn't it? Probably. Like yeah. Giant yeah. vultures are large. Large. Yeah. So oh, you can literally just like grab it. Yep. Look up. So, oh, okay. That's what's slowly happening here. Then there's a like you notice the talons kind of like grip, nice underneath each arm. And then Whoa. you see the wings start beating, <laughs> and you start Whoa. maybe lifting. Whoa. All right, uh, help me I get then. your idea. I'll help you out. And <laughs> I go <laughs> help you. No, yeah, no, I go for you. No, no, no. I go for you because I don't know who you are. Karaka, you see two giant <laughs> vultures <laughs> fighting, <laughs> picking up. The claws. The claws. The claws. <laughs> And I've already deduced that if those are you two, then that's it. But I'm like, yeah, okay, take, me, take me with you. Oh, <laughs> me, me. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'll do that, um, I'll, I'll do that, um, kind of like a huff and puff chicken. <laughs> Just as I'm standing and, like, do the wings to me, do the wings to him. <laughs> Oh, 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 yes. He is bigger. He is bigger than me. My strength, my leg is weak. Look. Well, as a vulture, you're fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just pick up the old half orc. You want me to ride on top? Uh, nah. <laughs> I'll do a vulture sigh and pick <laughs> up Karaka. I, I can only imagine Harvey Birdman in Avenger doing that. Yeah. Like, oh, oh. Yeah. Can I just say that the the visual images of G's characters as a giant vulture are really coming oh, through yeah. for me? So, so do you grab hold of yeah. Karaka yeah. And, yeah. and a lot of you sort of lift off and begin making your way? It takes me a while. I will kind of like, no prod at your talon and, like, eagles. point to where we left Liam. Fleeing the Trying to the signal forest, for you to land fire. us there when we get there. Ka. <laughs> Is that a yes Ka! or a no? <laughs> oh, shit. <Ka. laughs> oh, boy. How do we thumb? <laughs> so, as you are flying over the city, over Poxboro now, mm-hmm. continuing in the same direction you were going, um, you all hear this sort of rumbling noise and a lot of you look down and you see that basically the center of Poxborough, the district itself you see it sinks into the ground buildings glass shattering, buildings closing essentially collapses in on itself forming this giant sinkhole I remember that I remember that description Mm-hmm. Similarly, as you're flying over, you hear those Disco same sounds, and you sagging. seem to be hearing what look like buildings sort of falling and collapsing, perhaps creating the same holes in these other districts. Uh, are they collects, collapsing? Like, how deep do they go? It's a, So, the one over Poxbury you can very clearly mm-hmm, see. Mm-hmm. It looks like the, the, <clears throat> the crust and the topsoil and everything has gone down. We're talking about several, you would say, like... 100, 200 feet down. No, oh, oh, what's on the bottom there? It's, it's like, like, well, the the buildings have sort of fallen into it. It since was the almost like there was a void. It's almost like the imagine um, this. I had this piece of paper and mm-hmm. I had a cup on top right. of it, and then I wet the paper underneath, right, and right, sort of right. the whole thing just sort of so. But sunk what, in. what I'm saying is, is it sunking into like water, lava, dry? Like, is it just like there was void and it just dropped? It looks like a sinkhole, okay. essentially, okay. like just everything collapsed. The the, the crust kind of gave right. way and fell into like there had been interior. a cave down there, and the top of the cave mm-hmm. right, right. collapsed. But yeah. that's what I'm like. I, I just want to know if there was anything on the bottom, like water or lava. The it doesn't didn't look like you okay. saw any sort of thing. That's fine. Probably hard to see through all the. Smoke to break. Who's got the highest yes. passive perception, by the way? 14. 12. Passive perception is 14. 14? Anybody else? The 14s nope. have it. <laughs> no, Sandy. We're vultures. Mm-hmm. So. You spy. So your perception. It's hard to tell, well, but as you look yeah. back towards that area that you I saw that smokestack, mm-hmm. sort of the smoke column moving in, yeah. you could swear you saw what looks like the, the gleam of a large sort of. Uh, metal streak shooting through uh, cold crest in between the buildings. It's a real gun. Um, so the column of smoke seemed to be attached. Hmm. I'm not following yet. So there, 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 there's like a some sort of metal. Give me an intelligence check. Please. Okay, that should be pretty high. And I can tell you, like, you can sort of try to discern. 
what exactly it is you saw in between smoke and fire and okay <laughs> oh, like, come nope. on. Nope. Can you at least get, like, a, a... However... Can you get a reread of what um, you had said? So we could try? Uh, no, that's just a religion check. So I, think, I, I, I think you're going to re-roll. I mean, you're not yeah. in, in immediate danger, right? I think that's fair. You okay. Well, thank you. I'll Somebody's you holding I'll that. give you that. All right. So it's straight, straight in check, right? Just in check, okay. yes. 14. 14. It, it is... It is very, it's confusing because the way that you saw sort of the gleam of metal, the shape of the thing, and this column of smoke rising out of it, you could have sworn that was a train engine. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so sexy. <laughs> Sorry, did I say that out loud? <laughs> I, think, I, I think we'll stop there. I think that's, that's the most appropriate. <laughs> A break. Oh, this is the sexy train oh, on a rail do. sexual. Vibe. I want to see what Liam does when we land with like four giant birds. And you will later. <laughs> if he's even still there. Yeah. He better yeah. still be there. Probably hasn't gotten too far. Ran away, yeah. Well, <laughs> okay, if somebody found him. Yeah, yeah. But, that's yeah. the one of the two dangers I was worried yep. about. Mm. Someone finds him, or as soon as we're out of sight, he does some. Magic. Jiggery pokery and gets himself out of it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay. Wow. I've never, wow. Was, I've never met so. a character that resisted of me saving them. <laughs> <laughs> Not this one. <laughs> Anything <laughs> but this. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I, I just imagine that, like... Busts the door open. I'm here to save you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm good. Guess I'll die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. This is actually real comfy. Thank you. This is fine. This is uh, fine. Yes. This is the best. Wow, that was an awesome session. Oh, that was a great oh, session. Did you guys enjoy it? I just oh, wanted yeah. to keep going because I'm I felt afraid was, you don't get to do it again. I felt it was <laughs> ever. I was worried that it would be a little sort of... Oh. I was worried that the chaos of the narrative would like infect the session too and it would sort of be sort of chaotic, which is why I was trying to structure it in a way that we kept bouncing back and forth. And I, I like that people. organized chaos though yeah. because yeah. It, it felt very much so like two groups where it wasn't, yeah. this has been preordained how you get out of the city. It very much so was natural in us struggling mm-hmm. to find a way. What are we doing here? Where are we going? Right. Yeah. And, True. and it, it came together very well. But there was a clear coded thing of you need to get out. Yeah. 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 As opposed to throwing yourself at enemies. It, it, it's always kind of, well, it's usually, I guess too much of it might get well, old. Well, every but, NPC but it's, it's kind of fun to get out. Yeah. Trying to, to figure run. out, okay. Out of character, I know so much more than I know in character. How am I going to play this? How do we... Um, Yeah, yeah. Without metagaming. Yeah, exactly. Don't want to metagame this, but... You know, uh. Also, can I can I say how much in stride Karaka took Liam being my brother? He was like, well, this is wrong. <laughs> yeah. this is wrong. you're now in on the secret. <laughs> that that seemed like care. the most Karaka is yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is fine. This is whatever. He's like, is, does he, does he, is, he, is, he, is he registered to vote? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> for union? You know? He can be swayed. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> He's got a vote in hand. That's good enough for me. Yeah, because yeah, Karaka, I believe, overheard Sandy talking about your father, yeah. and then the brother yeah. link. So. Basically, that whole party yeah. just kind of knows. Yeah, because it's like brother and father started. I'm like, well, hmm. then you started fire, so you're still a part of whatever started fire. You started fire. You say you're out, but you're actually starting fire, so yeah. how can you be out if you're yep. starting it's fire? It's super oh. good logic, to be honest. Mm. I'm a little concerned about when Velvet and Kyoto, Kyoko get down there, they're just going to look at him and go, well, poof. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Well, I mean, that still, still has his hood, hood right? right? No, no, I ripped all that shit to shreds. That's no. true. I did. He, you did he's just going to blend in then, right? Yeah. Right. That was he'll the idea. He'll be a dude. Mouth. Yeah. He'll just be a dude. Yeah. yeah. Until he's horrifically racist. <laughs> if he is. He's just been a douchebag so far. We might I mean, that's what would help, help him set his, <laughs> his legs. <laughs> and I'll just be like, he knows what he's doing. That's fine. You need to set the bones. <laughs> oh. Don't, Oops. don't kill him from Oops. internal bleeding, please. We <laughs> you guys need to find some like healing um, access because I have, I do have cure wounds three times a day, but I need a short rest and a sandwich 
you know. Best <laughs> <laughs> of the sandwich, those particular <laughs> things. Smoke and a kipper. Oh, no, this was yeah. great, and I, I got like healed. Go. I also got healed. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you were the guys who got in a fight. I thought we're having Seaton's House of Madison again tomorrow. I didn't want to just be up. So late that you could get home and you can get a good night's rest. That's, yeah, that's yeah. Nice. It also snowed. Yeah. yeah. So it's going to get big. I didn't know that until I let the dog out. I was like, oh. Yeah. 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 So there's tiny little paw prints in front of us. So any any thoughts, Phil? Awesome. What you well, like? Let's do it every week. Like <laughs> no, that's the plan. I think Come we should on, play man. this more often. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like I like Lamarazma. Yeah, I like no, this is my, this is my favorite I'm thing. trying to think I have, if I have any like notes of constructive criticism at this Our point. Our dice need to rule. Yes, yeah. see, please. but that's yes. I can't that's do anything not, about that. Yeah. Can we? Can we uh, do that? Well, you can buy them new dice. No, I can't. That's yeah. not criticism. That's just solving the problem. Did you see that Jessica put up that post about like all those um, LGBTQA pride dice? Oh. They have everybody except bisexual. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but they had a really cute like pan set and asex set and it was anyway. I'm going to have to look at it. Derailing, yeah. sorry. Uh, but no, yeah, I, I may oh. need some time to like digest it and come up with some notes but sure. it was great babe. It was um, awesome. I liked how every time we got in a fight, we was horribly out mad. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, and, it's a good way to like, and, subtly hint at me well, we should leave. Well, yeah. that, that was just that was really just a consequence of sort of the context of the thing. Like, mm-hmm. If there's going to be... La Mirage was a huge place. It's a, mm-hmm. it's a huge city with all these districts inside and all these people and everything. In order to sort of effectively cripple a city, mm-hmm. you're going to have to have some serious players with a lot of force and a lot of chaos. But it it like, seems you know. like we made every worst decision possible. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. We made a lot of bad decisions admittedly. <laughs> like I mean, did we do something wrong? Like, no. You guys are just no. reacting to the to the, the I'm just saying, like because this happened in general, were we supposed to be more proactive and stop it from happening? I don't think Yeah, I'm so. wondering I, I, like, do we mess something I, up? I don't know if you I want to answer that question, but were yeah. we supposed to stop it. this or was this always out of our control? Yeah. So I'm thinking about Strahd and like how well, I can't, we did well, or didn't do a thing and suddenly that whole town was just incinerated. What I can say is that according to what Liam told you, yeah. this plan had been in the works for like six months. Yeah, um, but my... So this been, thing had been sort of carefully planned down to sort of before. some minute details yeah. well before. But you my guys father said aware. we had a week. Sure. And even well, Divine said that we have like a week to We have a week it. before the demon is summoned. The demon. This, this is that, that, uh, that, we this still like necessarily the same yeah. thing. We still That's have a week. Unrelated. Okay. Yeah. That, that could be very Well, or is it? Yeah. My, what did it, my father, it's related. My father told maybe. me to get out and. We, we thought one was the cause, and this would, this would be the effect. He told us to just get out. This yeah, might be the cause, and that's the effect. So uh, that's the only question I had was like, did we mess something up? I promise you. I don't think so. This was just an example of like, here's what's happening. Yeah. How you respond to How it. How do you react to but it? But okay. you could be like, you could be some of the greatest adventurers in, in, in history and still have <laughs> trouble like extinguishing an entire, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's still a losing proposition. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Basically, yeah. you're on the defensive. Right. Mm-hmm. You've okay. got to find a way to sort of turn the we turn were the tide. really too altruist, altruistic, I, I think, for I that situation. I mean, we we could have hopped a ride, and you at least sure. three of us could have gotten out of the city immediately, yeah. and then we might have bumped into them on the way out. I promise but, you, these threads are like I, are twining together. <laughs> I like that we still have a lot of them open, where it's like there's still that car out there. Yep. I we we still have the unknown with Liam. Is he actually on our side, or is he just I think, playing I think whatever he's on his side? <laughs> yeah, like, I, I don't know with him, because I could see, if you see the writing on the wall, and you're like, look, if I just blend in and try to ride this out, yeah. and I, I do the initiation ritual of burning a building down, maybe I'll be okay. Mm. Yeah, he could have just been hiding underneath our father's coat, so to speak. And, and he yeah. could also could have come to the realization... That you came too long ago, which is... My father's a piece of shit and I need to kill him? Well, <laughs> if he would kill mom, then he would kill me. Right, Where would he stop? Why right. Yeah. Immediately exactly. why I I, 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 I've, I've, that, I've been yeah. living in a fool's paradise. I assumed he was my father and he would never hurt me, but... 
Now that I think about it, he thought that yeah, Liam, see the writing on the wall. Liam probably grew up thinking that he was going to be the exception. Yeah, and I mean, he had how many years of being the exception to enforce right. that idea? Being the exception, like, maybe, maybe we don't know. We'll find out more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I but really like how Velvet just kind of got way. thrown in with these people. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's really unfortunate for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you were just enjoying some, you know, light hedonism, and hey, now the city's Call it an adventure. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go kill some lizard people. <laughs> Can I just point out that, like, you got I don't know how Fireball in the face. But or no, Ray of... We're struggling Ray with in the face creatures. and slapped in the face with fire. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, we, yeah, we are. Like, we but I'm glad we were able to save you. Yes. Can kill people? But when we face an elemental, there's nothing we can do. I have gray of sickness, I, I'm, necrosis. I'm hoping they're just resistant to our attacks yeah, and not immune. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I was like, well, I have a couple spells oh. that would be. A if, this is, if this thing was yeah. huge, this is a very high hit die elemental. But yeah. still, yeah. you know, the fact that the police chief just happened to have like twelve grenades on him, I was like, oh. Good. We weren't going to kill this yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, then again, you didn't spend necessarily a lot of time with their sets. Maybe that was his whole deal. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe he was a secret but, sort of yeah, gun. I would, I would kill for like a magic missile spell. <laughs> yeah, Just to... I, I, yeah. I really didn't want to fight the thing, but he was walking up there and I was like, God damn it. Yeah. 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 You saw was the yeah, moment you, of, all, right, well, all right, I guess we're in here. Yeah. <laughs> cool session. Cool. Every right. week from now on, please. <laughs> well, we're Except, um, the week of Valentine's Day is <laughs> when my show will open up. Right. right. So I'll have to be there opening night, yeah. obviously. Yes. Be, be the proud mama. Mm-hmm. So do we have any potential titles for this? For this episode? Because I feel like we've officially left the art of keeping a secret. Farewell I feel today. like that kind of Oh, no, this closed. is still the art of keeping a secret. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah, this is sort of like the first chapter, right? The Art of Keeping a Secret is sort of like the greater title, right? Now there mm-hmm. can be like you know, there's subtitles every episode, yeah, right? But this is still the Art of Keeping a Secret. I'll, I'll let art you know. Art of Keeping a Secret is a chapter. Yes. Oh, I see. Okay. Where this? Well, I'll tell you when that chapter ends and another one. Okay. So it begins. Mm-hmm. You're cl- you're close to the the transition. I did not realize we had mm-hmm. chapters. So so far, the subtitle I have is "I Want to Punch That Vulture." <laughs> 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 You're welcome. That's How about fair. velvet gets burned? That's fair. <laughs> I was also thinking about on the up and up. Ooh, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Which is both a comment about legs and also comment about vultures. That's, yeah. It's fun that, like, I'm imagining mm, personally, velvet? just like all my characters, like, like, I'm imagining that my mom and I, my mother and I both have, like, this British accent. And then obviously he, Liam and my father well, no, no, no. are very Actually, southern. And that's mm. really that's really like kind of fun to like push uh, together better. in my head because mm-hmm. Liam looks like nothing like me, <laughs> and it's just yeah. Okay, you're a good storyteller. Good mm-hmm. stuff. It's almost like you write and stuff. I've got to admit I've been impressed with what I can only expect or expect to be how you've adapted to us yeah. bumbling through the city and finding a way to be like, all right, how the hell do I get him out of this right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lot of the Lamarazma sessions is just like, <laughs> well, you're doing that, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. You look at a scenario and go, okay, now what would Gabriel do? Yeah. <laughs> well, I better prepare for that. I, I feel like the problem is you have to look at each one of us individually yeah. because... You know Kyoko is going to do anything that is effectively extremely paladin like. Right. Mm. Yeah. You know who, I guess hedonism and adventure yeah. is right. going to be my guess. Yeah. I, when she's conscious. Yeah. <laughs> study <laughs> especially anything to do with the history of La Mirage. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, but, but, but but in in acting mm-hmm. Um, in, in, in the actual acts very, that this character performs, I mean, very loyal. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah I, that's that true. that wasn't to you my original character <laughs> concept. That's just kind of where this is gone. He's like, oh, I help my friends. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I do. Um, and we've got kind of that similar approach with uh, Karaka, I would say, but probably with that other spin on. A little the bit more greater. wider, yeah, that greater good mm. in a positive aspect instead of the greater good. <laughs> I, I, Will it go boom? Yeah. How, how, how to describe... Uh, don't bother. How the to form. describe Let's Gabriel. Gabriel. Think, of Gabriel. What, think of what you shouldn't foil. do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, hey. I, 
I well, no, to... foppish Zap Brannigan. <laughs> but I, I would say that I would say that Gabriel is for the most part self interested. Yes, yes. yes. I love yes. it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they. <laughs> now you begrudgingly will help hmm, yeah. the people that you're with. So, so far, out. when it aligns with your own. Sure. Again, I have you're my going, goals. Pew, pew, well, yeah. I mean, you've got right. your own things pew, pew. that you're working on. And it's like yeah. the time is there. And like That's I know I can't that, do it yeah. myself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I You're I hoping to... that this pan out pans yeah. out to <laughs> help your, your yeah. sister. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well one of the things I was reading about, about when I was reading about, the, about that. Uh, species of uh vulpine mm-hmm. is they like to go out and make a name for themselves. Mm-hmm. 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 So that's one of her big things. She's trying to do that. Mm-hmm. And well, what better way than to adventure <laughs> right. your way into a burning city and out again? Yeah. Right. I mean, the yeah, problem is she's very loyal to the people she's with. Right. And if they're not backing down, she's not either. Yeah, Kyoko's got that just from that different angle. Also, Love. transforming the whole party into vultures, that was badass. I mean, that was pretty cool. <laughs> that was you're lucky unexpected that, uh, and really... You're lucky that Divine had that up her sleeve. Yeah. Right, right. right. Their right. sleeve. Right. Right. Yeah. right. And then Lairis is, I want to punch my brother and kill my father. As long as it's one of those two things... There's it's, really not an issue. Yeah. And if someone's good. being That's, hurt, then I will yeah. them. Yeah, you've stepped in at a pool, but... Yeah. 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 Punch my brother and kill my father. Yeah. 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 For, for, for <laughs> reference, those <laughs> those grenades that, um, uh, air that uh, uh, Airsots used to disable... I, I really the, wanted those grenades. <laughs> oh, I, at least one. Uh, to disable the fire creature, those dealt 109 damage in total. What? Uh, that's nice. 12 grenades uh, doing 2d8 of force want, damage I want those each. If we had the full party there, mm-hmm. we might have been able to fight it with two casualties, would That's be my true. guess. Yeah. Also, I really like the image, really like how you described so. the mm-hmm. grenades going off. That, yeah. like, force, yeah, 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 that, that like, vacuum Yeah, I was able explosion. to, like, really visualize yeah, it was that very, and feel it. Yeah. Oh, good. good. Mm, that was awesome. I don't know. It hit really hard, and oh, I was yeah. already inter- interested. But inter- oh fuck, <laughs> injured, doing fine. Injured. Yeah. Uh, but I'm the only one that's a melee character. <laughs> yeah, well, well, of your three, your, di- your day will come. Most Karaka is. He just wasn't there. <laughs> so I, need a, I need a. I need a feat back, where then I can become melee. But until then, I am close range. Do you have not a, melee. Do you have a feat in mind? A feat in mind. I'm thinking either crossbow one? expert or a trying feat? to find some way That's to. That's on fourth level. Yeah, we're never gonna get there. <laughs> you guys. Yeah, we'll see. Hey, you guys are two. Yeah, yeah. We're there. Halfway there. Took us only what half a year. Jeez. Hey, hey, we'll get there. It's not my fault. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 that no. the sessions keep um, falling away. I'm sorry. <laughs> Problem with no, me is that I actually need parts to build Theodore. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and. Like this uh, might be a moment of character growth for Gabriel. Just give me raw Maybe. materials, and I can make Please, no promise. Nah. <laughs> well, I mean, you do have a cleric of Morden, a forge mm-hmm. person, right there. Like, yeah. you, you give me the raw materials, and I can make. Yes. Like for reals? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you have a no, for, like, pocket forge? <laughs> yeah, you can, get a forge. You can figure something out. Yeah, yeah. Right. Theoretically, we might find a frontier town. I mean, hopefully, and technically, I have. The channel divinity, which makes parts up to 100 GP if you have materials. Holy! Oh, nice. And I you still, are like, what? Still need what? materials. We're gonna be best buddies. <laughs> like I said, we still need yes. materials. Like you and Laris are <laughs> best buddies? Even yeah. better, bro. Oh, uh, okay. Well, maybe That's not probably as probably best. Uh, and see, you didn't want to carry him now. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, I, I feel the bond now. <laughs> I feel the bond. Still, the image of, like, Gabriel yeah. Fletcher tries to grab me, and I'm just like... No, 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 no. no. It's like, I know this one. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to explaining to the rest of you who my brother is. I'm not looking that forward to actually turning back Don't into worry, he's a dead. fox than dying. dying. Yeah. Well, going unconsciously. Yeah. So that will be we'll have more people. Talk. One of us probably has medicine. So... Maybe. I have a spell slot With, and a healing book. Oh, there you go. You get, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've got this weird history of D&D. Mm-hmm. Um, 
the, the edition that I know the best is first edition. <laughs> yeah, fair. Um, first edition so. of and the original D&D? D&D, yeah. Oh, AD&D. Uh, yeah, AD&D. 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 Yeah. Um, and in that edition, if you, especially if you're a druid, right, but when you change form, you get like half the hit points back that you had lost. In other words, when she changes back... If the if the rules rules still work that way, then when she changes back, she'll be somewhat healed These, because of the transformation. The, the, the new five E sort of animal shape and wild shape and shape changing kind of things mm-hmm. state that you basically get the hit points of your new form, but as soon as you get out of that form, you revert to exactly the state that you were in. Okay. Yeah. 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 There are certain oh, well. again shape an hour to sandwich and I'll bring you back subclasses <laughs> that. <laughs> You heal. Yeah, when you I have to make a death save. Every it's like it gets you heal He's got a front edge yeah. for your what? actual body. You have a healing potion, but, but that's yeah, just the one though. He was never with us. To talk to him. Yes. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you've been like, busy. Like, yeah. when, you, when you transform, you get. To be fair, you just heal. Like, Come on. Come on. So yeah, yeah. yeah, so I that's can just like see this play classes. now. I let you down. Okay. Stand there. It's one of the subclasses. Yeah, so I did some interesting research. And, <laughs> and originally I was worried that like 20th level druid is the most broken thing out there, right? Because you can just constantly shapeshift. Yeah. Just be T-Rex all the time. <laughs> Disintegrate. Oh, no. If you drop a character to zero hit points, including the form they're in, even if they have more after that, they are disintegrated. What? That's how you kill a druid at level 20. A disintegrate spell? Yeah, you get their animal form down, and then you disintegrate them. And when the animal form hits zero, the way the spell's written, they're gone. Yeah, yeah. They don't turn back into the druid (laughs) and get those hit points body anymore. Yeah, right. Yeah, the it's like the one way I've found to kill a druid (laughs) at twentieth level. Mm. But don't worry about that. That like never. You'll never see exactly twentieth level druid. Hmm. Yeah, this campaign would have to last for a really long time. Oh, yeah. Get yeah, so it would be like 2030 at that point. So is everybody good for next Friday? I thought you were going to ask us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so good, yeah. I hope so. Well, this damn show will still be going on. Um, so 